Greetings, I am Resplendent Seraph, and today we're back to play more games. Today, specifically, the remake of East 4, Memories of Celsetta, which is, again, an amalgamation of Mask of the Sun and Dawn of East. And so, yeah, I was going to play on Father's Day, but uh, ended up getting stuck at my folks for, for a little while. So by the time I got back, it was just, it didn't make any sense at that point to play. But in any event, I hope everybody had a great weekend. Let's just get started. Let's let's fire this up. Having a good day, well, good week, rather, of work so far. That is always nice. East Memories of Celsetta. Yes, that is the game I want to play. It has indeed been a little while. And it always wants to do the calibration. Not sure why it always wants to do the calibration, but <laughs> so it goes. The other games uh, can be kind of finicky with that too. Let's just make sure in-game capture is indeed grabbing it. And yes, it is. Good, and those audio levels look pretty good. That's what we want to see. Yep, perfect. Okay, let's do this. Oh, let's get that mouse cursor out of the way. That's uh, annoying. <laughs> there we are. Okay, so that's that. Okay, so last time we managed to get to Highland. That's where we are. I want... Let's go to our map here. Yeah, we're in Highland. So we managed to get across the river here, which is most excellent. I'm... uh. That's actually a little loud. Let's see. Can I turn... Can I turn that down a little bit? Like, the the broadcast levels are fine. I'm just dealing with my... There we go. Now that's not so blaring uh, in my own ears. So, uh, yes. Uh, we were dealing with... Uh, we crossed the river. We managed to get through the underground passage. We managed to get all the way up here. And we found a town where, apparently, if we leave... We will lose all memory of the town itself, but that's all we're supposed to lose the memory of. But that starts to explain some of the rumors of the, the pe fact that people get in there, they get, you know, tossed around. Well, that was a particular labyrinth area. We uh, did find our way through that. I actually don't remember what I'm supposed to do here. I think we're just exploring the town at this juncture. Well, Lord Eldeal isn't around. This house seems to be empty. This is Lisa's house, but Lisa is out for most of the time, so it's usually empty. What about her family? She lives on her own. Both of her parents passed away the year I was born. Oh. That's pretty much all there is to see of Lisa's house. Okay, let's see if Seraph can remember how to say her name. I believe it's Kalilika. Okay, yes. <laughs> I was able to say the name. I got totally tongue twisted, but I think that was that was fatigue playing a role last time. Let's move on, shall we? So we're doing the tour of the town. So this is Lisa's house. I don't see anything of particular interest here. And there isn't. One of the pitfalls of not playing in a week kind of forgot what I'm supposed to be doing. I think we're just taking the tour and just getting the lay of Highland Town here. Excuse me, Dario. Especially if we haven't really met anybody um, other than Kalilika and um, the one mayor dude. Hmm. Do you have something you need me to... Ah, oh, at all. Perfect timing. I actually have something I need to discuss with you. So what's on your mind? Actually... It was about your gravestone, Adol. I was the one who built it. <laughs> Someone else asked me to do it, but still, I feel terrible. I hope its existence didn't cause you any bad luck. If so, I'm sorry. Please forgive me, I beg of you. There we go. <laughs> it's the thought that counts. Really? Oof. I'm glad you're not upset. Aw, oh, you're so polite. Hmm something wrong, Ozma? 
A thought crossed my mind. Was anything buried in that grave? Oh, hey, now that you mention it, like an awesome sword, that would be awesome. Can't be a body in there, so is it just dirt? Now, our tradition for cases where there's no body are to bury the belongings of the deceased. I mean, Adol's belongings. That's what was buried in his grave. I'm so, so sorry. It just slipped out. I didn't mean... It's okay. It's okay. We understand completely. Hmm. Adol's belongings. From before his lost his memories, no less. There may be new information to discover within them. For, for real. I'm going to tell the mayor to have that grave removed really soon. So please, just wait a little longer, please. Adol, I think we should probably be leaving now. For Dario's sake, if nothing else. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. We don't want the poor guy to have a heart attack. Hey, Crosshair, how are you, my friend? We're playing East. I'm trying to get reacclimated to what I was doing a week ago when I last played this, because I think it was last Sunday uh, that I played this. I remember getting to Highland Town, but I, I don't really remember what's going on, which is hilarious considering the theme of the game is amnesia. But how's your week going? Do you have a good weekend? As we wander through and we get the tour from Kalilika. Uh, we started in that building. We went in there. Okay, so let's go in here. Oh, shop. Yes, yeah, so let's buy. They're good. Uh, I have enough honey potions. I've certainly got enough. You know what? Let's buy two of these. Why not? And no powder. I've got a bunch of those. Like, whoa, okay. Uh, yes. Yes, let us buy the much, much better freaking weapon. Uh, yes, please. And yes, let's, uh, let's equip that. Same with Durin, yes. Equip Durin, feather knives, yes. Let's equip Karna, hell yeah. And Trident, perfect. Prim Mace, huh? Prism Mace? I'm gonna guess that's gonna be Kalilika's. At least I get the sense that Kalilika is gonna be coming along with us. Okay, we are going to have uh, some nice armor here, too. So what's the story with this? Amber Coat. Defense. Strength. Oh, so it boosts our strength a little bit. I mean, that, that part's nice, but um, I think I'd rather have the Lamellar Armor. Yes. Let's equip. <laughs> yes. Oh my goodness, yes. Equip that. Perfect. Actually, what else can we give you? Yeah, let's let you stay alive a little bit more. We'll work on that. Yes, I think this works for right now. Okay. Actually, journal. Perfect. <laughs> There we go. Okay. The next... Okay, so let's see. According to Lisa, Eldil is like a god and gives people of his choosing special wisdom. Uh, right, this was what, he were, what, he, what they were talking about. Uh, Eldil gives... Uh, <laughs> Eldil seeks to seek balance with the human species by giving uh, disadvantaged civilizations an invention and thus ensuring peace by ensuring one civilization or one group of people doesn't get too much more powerful than the others. But as uh, I had this conversation with Freakbot live on stream last time, kind of reminded me of Carla from Record of Lotus Fort. Not a great comparison. Uh, so yeah, uh, I don't know. I mean, Eldil's heart seems to be in the right place, but I don't know how I feel about this yet. But we'll find out. But anyway, so that's what they're talking about. Uh, it's possible to protect a barrier around this area may be the reason I lost my memories. However, the barrier is only intended to keep Eldil and the Highland a secret. So Lisa can't explain why I would have lost my other memories too. The next day, Kalilika guided us around the town. Hopefully, I'll be able to find something that'll help more of my memories return. We were given one rule during our stay. We are not allowed to leave the town by the north exit. 
And so that just made Seraph want to leave town by the north exit. <laughs> dog. Nah, we're good. We already gave the dog uh, some, uh, a fruit. I think we gave it an, uh, an Ariella fruit. Oh, what do we got here? Probably an accessory shop. Yep, so some kind of shop. Well, technically, yes. This is Philemon's workshop, and the staff here are responsible for all of the machinery in Highland. Machinery? <laughs> Karna has no idea what machinery is. Oh, you aren't familiar with machines? Well, Karna and Ozma are from the forest and live off the land, so they've never seen machines like the ones here before. You have seen them then, I assume. Yeah, machines are uh, complicated, complicated contraption thingies that do stuff. In a nutshell. Yeah, thanks, Durin. It's very helpful. <laughs> I see that your explanation was of no help at all. There we go, Karna. <laughs> and there you have it. It's a shame your brain isn't as big as your body, or you'd be quite the genius. Man, Kalilika really likes giving Durin the frickin' business. Oh, come on now. Give me a break. Hey, you big guy over there. You're blocking the entrance. If you want to talk, move over and stop getting in the way of the other customers. Why am I the only one who gets told off? Yeah, no, right? Durin's definitely getting picked on here. It's nice to see you all. And it's particularly good to see you alive at all. We were discussing how this workshop is responsible for all of the machinery in Highland. Does that mean those windmills outside were created here as well? That's right. I was responsible for designing them, in fact. Thanks to the knowledge I received from El El Lord Eldiel, anyway. Though all of the wisdom I was given has also been given to someone else as well. I see. I still don't really get it. But I could tell you're an amazing person, at least. <laughs> but of course, you're a perceptive one, young lady. Don't get cocky, old man. Are all of the girls in Highland like this? I thought it was just Kalilika, but this one seems like a handful, too. Yeah, Tamali is Philemon's successor, so she's not exactly your run-of-the-mill girl. Indeed, you must... You may now bow before me! <laughs> oh, thanks, Tamali. <coughs> Alright, don't be afraid to look around here as much as you'd like. I'll help you find something to trigger your memory. And so we were also... I think we were in Eldiel's house before, and we went up and we saw the um, gigantic globe apparatus as well. So it was uh, interesting to rediscover the place where that memory... went to. At all, you really gave me the shock of my life yesterday. I genuinely thought I'd seen a ghost. Poor guy. What's in here? I was really surprised when I heard you were still alive. And not only that, you were able to make it back here with your friends? You're truly a special individual, Adol Kristen. Especially without my memories? Yeah, that was pretty badass. Let's see. Various quests are displayed on the board. But we can't get them yet until we do whatever we're supposed to do here. What's this? A highly detailed model sits atop the desk. It seems to depict a battlefield. That's interesting. Who are you? Ah, well, I'm glad to talk to you. Oh, it's you, Kalilika. I see Adol and his friends are with you, too. Have you come to ask me something? Yeah, we have. Oh, but first, I should introduce you. This is Werner. He's responsible for observing the wither... The, the river. <laughs> the wither... Observing the river, surprised there's a job like that here. So have you seen anything strange around the river lately? Well, yes, actually. Not long ago, I saw two strangely dressed individuals, a man and a woman, on the opposite shore. We have a pretty good idea who that is. Karna's brother and the uh, other woman, the wizard, the sorceress. Hmm, can you describe them at all? The woman was, let's just say, lightly dressed and had long purple hair. Yep, that's our sorceress. And the man was enormous, clad in obscenely heavy-looking armor. <coughs> hmm, pardon me. There we go, much better. Now I took care of that frog in my throat. I remember them well because they were such an odd combination, like a study in opposites. That sounds like that man must have been the beast tamer we encountered. Yeah, and the woman must be... Oh, right, I forgot about the Beast Tamer. Right, we did encounter that Beast Tamer. 
that makes my uh, yeah that that's see this is why I need the NPCs to remind Seraph what's going on. <laughs> yeah, and the woman must be that magician. So those two are allies. Sure wouldn't have guessed that. Oh, you must have met them yourselves. Unfortunately, all I could do, uh, all I could confirm is that the two of them were together. They were on the opposite shore, after all, so I couldn't hear what they were talking about, nor confirm exactly what they were doing. I see. Still, at least now we know they're connected in some way. That's pretty significant on its own. Thanks for the information. Oh, it was nothing. I'm happy to have helped. I mean, it's not a surprise that they were acting in concert. I mean, how many people are even in these woods? Thanks a bunch. <coughs> Are you a zombie? <laughs> Thanks, Tatiana. I know all about zombies. Sometimes when people die, they keep moving around. They're called zombies. Although that's... I don't know if you're just telling me stories, kid, or if they're actually zombies. I don't recall ever encountering zombies in any other East game. So that would be new. I didn't even notice there was something there. Uh, I'm trying to remember what Ram's like. I chose wisely. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. There's a Pickard. I think they like these. Yep, they do. I don't know what that actually does, but even if animals just are happy about it. That so looks like uh, the mascot in um, Crossbell in Trails of uh, Trails in the Sky. Oh my god, it is Mishy! Holy shit! <laughs> I never would have guessed that Mishy would be in East. That is hilarious. Whoa, whoa. it couldn't be. Me. Okay, this is badass that Mishy is fucking in this game. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> it might have been a creature called Mishy. I've heard of it once before. It's supposed to be extremely shy, always appearing in weird places. It brings good luck to those who find it. For the life of me, though, I can't remember where I heard about it. <laughs> Completely different universe, kid. Either way, if we get a chance, it might be worth trying to catch track the little guy down. That is cool as shit. <laughs> that really is super badass. I can't believe I was even mentioning, like, that looks an awful lot like Mishi, and then it turns out it's fucking Mishi. No oh, Adol, it's great to see you. I'm so glad you're alive. Everyone here feared the worst. There are only dust and old dreams in here, but please make yourself at home if you can. So the funny part is in Trails of Cold Steel, I think there's a doggy doll. Uh, and it, there's some very, very funny dialogue that corresponds with that. It's in the, um, oh, it's in the shop. Um, I think it's in the Lappin shop, but it's been a while since I played Cold Steel, so now I'm Seraph's not remembering exactly where that interaction takes place. Ah, uh, sweet sugar water. Nothing but dust and old dreams, huh? A few too many books in here to make a claim like that, if you ask me. Mm, yes, I do have a lot. Simon and Betty are descendants of scholars, and the most well-educated people in all of Highland. While Lord Eldiel gives the ultimate decision on whom to invite into this town, he'll often ask for advice from Simon and Betty before doing so. Wow, so they're kind of like his heavenly advisors or something then. Oh no, we're not quite that important. Lord Eldiel is omnipotent and omniscient in the truest sense, you see. Yeah, I'm gonna press X to doubt on that. But as a result of that, he doesn't always see things the same way a human would. And that's where we come in. We provide him with a human perspective on things. Nothing more. Frankly, it's an honor that he listens to us at all. Hmm, I see. How long has this Eldiel been living in this region? Well, I couldn't give you an exact answer, but it's been hundreds of years for sure. I don't know if you've ever seen any, 
but all of the winged statues in the Great Forest are images of Lord Eldiel. Hundreds of years? So that means he must re he must be a really, really old man by now. Eh, you wouldn't be able to tell if you met him. He looks and acts like he's still in his prime. I've never heard of him falling ill before either. Wow. His personality is a large part of why all of us here in Highland love him so much. He's incredibly kind, and he even has a great sense of humor. Just talking with him always puts me at ease. Sounds like a pretty great guy. Er, God. <laughs> uh, I think we probably kept you long enough now. True, we should be letting him go. But you're welcome to come back anytime if you'd ever need anything. Kalilika, I'm sure you have plenty of other places to show them, no? Yeah, I guess so. Thank you for your time. Doo -doo -doo -doo. I don't think you have anything else to tell me. Yada yada yada, I'm glad you're still alive. Shame you didn't remember meeting him. Please try to be a fr friend as you can. Okay, a lot of the same dialogue. Nothing of interest up here. Okay. Let's cruise back down. I don't believe there's anything else that we may have missed. Let's talk to this dude. Welcome, travelers. As you can see, this is a place where we weave fabrics and tailor clothes. This is my role that has been passed down in my family for generations. It's it's so funny. Anytime I hear passed down in my family for generations, I can't help but immediately think Alex Louise Armstrong from, uh, from Full Metal Alchemist. It's just where my brain immediately goes. All right, so. We started there. Why don't we head back up there? We've already gone in there. We did... Right, we did go in here. Yes, we went in there. That's why we were systematic about this. We came in here the other day, but let's talk to these kids anyway. Joel's gonna be a scholar with me. We'll have a scholar's wedding and make scholar babies. <laughs> That's an undeniable fact. Oh, oh boy. Come on, stop fighting, please. Oh, they're fighting over the kid. I told you, Joel's going to be a tailor with me. We'll have a tailor's wedding and make tailor babies. He's got no other choice. Oh, man. You are in a no-win situation, kid. There's LDL again. What an impressive building. It sure is pretty. This is the chapel where people offer prayers to Lord Eldiel. Look, it's Mariana and Lisa talking by the altar. How about we go say hi? Yeah, we may as well say hi to them and reintroduce ourselves. Ah, you must be... Good day, Adol. Did you manage to get any sleep after we spoke last night? I did, thank you. <laughs> I'm glad to hear that. Er, are you Lisa then? You're very pretty. <laughs> Isn't she, though? Lisa is the most popular maiden in all of Highland, and for good reason. Poor Lisa, she's got to be so embarrassed from that. <laughs> most popular? <laughs> Why are you boasting about her? Shouldn't you be, like, jealous or something? These two have always been very close to one another. They've been raised together as if they were sisters. I see. And who might you be? Oh, I'm sorry, I haven't introduced myself yet. My name is Mariana. I'm one of the Apostles of Highland. Apostles? Oh, that's right. I haven't explained that yet, have I? Those who directly serve Lord Eldiel are referred to as his apostles. And I'm going to sneeze in a minute or two. And only apostles are allowed to enter the tower where he lives. Of course, there's more to it than that, but that's the general gist. Suffice it to say, it's a very important position. Lisa is, is an apostle too, and so am I, but I'm just an apprentice. Oh, really? Important position, huh? So, how do these apostles serve your Lord Eldiel exactly? Well, each of the apostles has a different task assigned to him or her. Mine, for example, is the rite of prophecy, in which I convey the words of Lord Eldiel to the people of Highland. Lisa's role, then. My role is called the rite of summoning. The rite of summoning? If I recall correctly, the mayor spoke of that yesterday. Adol said something about Lord Eldiel giving knowledge to people of his choosing. Does that mean your role is to bring those people here? Exactly. You probably figured this out by now, but the one who brought Adol to this town before he lost his memories was Lisa. Really? Come to think of it, what happened to the person you were supposed to be bringing here this time? Was he with you when you returned last night? No, actually. 
Lord Eldiel indicated that the timing was no longer convenient, so I was asked to cancel the summoning until a later date. Really, that's a shame. But if Lord Eldiel wasn't able to grant an audience, then that's that, I suppose. He must be really busy right now. Yes. Are you okay, Lisa? You seem tired. Perhaps you should avoid making any more long journeys for the time being. No, I'm fine. Well, if you're sure... All right, everyone, I think we should move on to the next location. I really am fine, Kalilika. You needn't worry so much about it. Everyone needs to rest sometimes. There's nothing to be ashamed of. Indeed, we've heard enough for now. Any further questions can wait. Thank you very much for your time. Take care. It's nice meeting you. Okay, Ms. Tour Guide, lead the way. Hmm, don't patronize me, neck chin. Come on, everyone, let's move along. Alright, I don't feel like we've... Yeah, Alright, let's just talk to these people really quick. Be the Reddit Explorer that everybody's been talking about. Well, while you're here, you should pray to Lord Eldiel as well. Oh, can we? I don't think we can. Nope, we can't. Lord Eldiel, please watch over me today as you always have. Yeah, people basically do treat him like a god. Oh, there's another room in here. Anything of interest? Nope. 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 Nothing. Boom. Good! Yeah, and that's roped off. Alright. Ah, okay. Right, I think we've been about everywhere in town now. We should have enough information to work with. So let's head back to the mayor's place and regroup. Yes, we must decide our next course of action. Oh, I didn't try to leave town to the north. <laughs> I was totally going to try. But, so it goes. Meanwhile, I'm afraid I have some business to attend to. So I must bid you adieu. I'll see you later again. I'll see you again later. <laughs> a little bit of a... The sacks of up in there, sorry. Bye! Alright then, Adol. We gathered a fair amount of information, at least. Is there anything in particular that stands out to you? About Eldiel. The winged god you're supposed to have met before you lost your memories? He sure seems to be loved by everyone around here. Well, if he's really been living in that tower for hundreds of years, then he's not an ordinary human, that's for sure. And he's supposed to be in perfect health, not like some old man or anything. Those statues in the forest supposedly were cast in his image, which means there is a high likelihood that he has some connection with the ancient kingdom of Celsetta. While we cannot be certain until we have met him for ourselves, he does seem to fit the very definition of a god. <sighs> yeah, this whole Eldiel thing is definitely an interesting development, but I was thinking of something else, something that might help figure out what happened to you here at all. About my belongings? Yeah, I was thinking that too. If you really fell into that waterfall, your belongings could hold the key to this whole mystery. This could be our chance to see what Adol had with him before he disappeared, including like some sort of super dapper sword or other kind of equipment, although I did just spend a bunch of money upgrading everybody, but still, I would not complain if I got a super dope sword, as it were. Assuming we can even get to them since they've been buried. And since everyone thought you were dead, they buried them in your grave. <laughs> uh, we should consult with Aaron. You want to ask the mayor for permission to dig up your grave or to dig it up on our behalf? Either way, what we'll do, what, uh, what do we do if he says no? That'll be kind of awkward when we go digging it up anyway. <laughs> Chewer RPG words never spoken. Oh, Durin, you are, <laughs> you are one of us. That is so funny. I think it's best if we just do it in secret. It's your grave, after all. I concur. It is much simpler this way. Come, there's not a moment to waste. You know, I think chat, we were all joking about, all right, can you keep a secret and can you bring a shovel? <laughs> that is fucking hilarious. Mayor Aaron, I believe Kalilika is currently at the chapel. You're welcome to look around the town, but please try to avoid drawing too much attention to yourselves. Do, 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 do. Don't mind us. We're just going to go rob my own grave. It's not grave robbing if it's my own shit. What was that? Uh, granted, not exactly a secular here, but uh, there's what anime is it? Hey, don't make me bleed my own blood. <laughs> Let's go have some fun with this. 
Ah, yeah, we do a little more damage here. Actually, this will be good for me to reacclimate myself to this shit. Problem is the angle. You really can't see them until you're like right on top of them. Climbing the mountain is a lot easier. Uh, I think we go down that way. Yep. Ow. Huh? I like levels. Yeah, the darn angle really stinks. But oh well. It's this way. Interesting. Karma. Hey, Ghosty, how are you, my friend? I didn't actually hear the anime wild play, but I know it must have played. As we... As we regain hit points here. How are you, Ghosty? How's your week going? I was fiddling with my anime... Uh, anime. <laughs> I was fiddling with my, uh audio settings, so it wouldn't surprise me if I bored something. As long as you guys heard it, that's all that matters. Actually. Hey, it's going. Not sure if I heard it with the battle noises. That's true. Let's just... Okay, yeah, I do hear it. Yeah, the battle audio is uh, drowning it out a little bit. I'm not sure if I should lower my volume or raise the blurp. Let's raise the blurp a little bit. Because the, the game audio, I think, is fine. Let's try that again. This time without the oops. That's a little better. Yep, okay, perfect. Okay. Nothing like tweaking. <laughs> well, thank you. That worked. That was perfect. There we go. Good. Getting re reacclimated with everything here. Your kids do anything uh, cool for you for Father's Day? I went over to my parents' house and ate their food. I'm... I consider that being a good son. <laughs> Here lies Adol Kristen. Yep, this is the one. Feel a little guilty doing this. Let's get digging. <laughs> Never thought I'd go grave robbing at all, much less with the grave's occupant at my all side. Right. Come on, boys, let's get to work. Boys? <laughs> Just did simple barbecue, chicken and beef ribs. That sounds freaking amazing. But then again, I am at the age where things that are simple of like, yes, I just want to relax and not like, you know, completely blow my back out doing anything kind of crazy, like simple barbecue and just relaxing and watching like a sports game on TV. That is like perfect. <laughs> After digging for a while, a stone coffin was unearthed. Hesitantly, the lid was slid back to reveal... Oh, let's move that annoying mouse button. Let's get that out of the way. Huh? Hmm. Empty. It's not the wrong grave, is it? 
<laughs> Fire made it good. <laughs> nom, nom, nom. Man, now I'm getting hungry again. And I literally just ate. No, this is Adol's. And they did say they buried his belongings here. Wait, I think I see something in the corner. Ozma produced a small scrap of paper from the coffin. Oh, so they left a notebook scrap, but clearly somebody came over here to recover all my stuff. Why? Well, I guess we'll find out. Received the mask from... Hmm. What is it? Looks like it came from a notebook. There's something written on it, too. Received the mask from... That's definitely your handwriting, at all. The mask? Yeah, that brings uh, a lot of things to mind. But let's re let's think this through for a minute. Firstly, why are Adol's belongings not here when the villagers said they'd be, and even apologized for burying them? Someone stole my stuff. I'm beginning to... I think we're... I'm beginning to figure out what's going on here. Now that we've seen that, uh, I think it's very likely the mask that Karna's brother has was originally given to Adol from Eldiel. That seems the most likely scenario to me as well. If we assume what the villagers said is true, Adol's belongings should be buried here. If they intended deception, they could say that no belongings were found, and I doubt we would have questioned it. The most likely possibility here seems to be that someone looted your final resting place, perhaps considering it a victimless crime. So someone else dug up this grave before us? Whatever was in here must have been seriously important to them if they were willing to go that far just to get it. Yeah, but at least we found something. Received the mask from, and I'm going to guess it was received the mask from Eldiel. Not much to go on, but it's a start. Though hearing the word mask doesn't bode too well for us, given what we went through in Komodo. It's too early to tell if Remnos is connected to this. That's right, her brother's name was Remnos. I totally forgot what his name was. Yeah, we've got far too little information right now. Still, it says he received it from someone. Who would that be, I wonder? Whoever it is, it seems reasonable to conclude that Adol's disappearance occurred shortly after this meeting. Perhaps the mask in question is directly tied to this incident, and by extension, to Adol's memory loss as well. I think it would be safest to operate on the assumption that, at this moment, to remain on alert while we continue to investigate. Adol. Man, I totally butchered that sentence, but we, we, we understood it. <laughs> All right, Adol. I think it's time we go meet the person living in that tower now. Yep, it's time to disobey orders and leave through the north. Oh, all right. Or we'll get permission. Fine. You would like to speak with Lord Eldiel? Yeah, I don't think we're going to get to the bottom of what happened at all without talking to him at least once. I agree. A consultation with Lord Eldiel seems wise. It is, after all, my responsibility that one of his valued guests went missing. I would like to discuss matters with him as soon as possible myself. Is something the matter, Lisa? Um... Lisa? Actually, actually, there's something I need to tell you about Lord Eldiel. <laughs> Here it is. Oh, you sound hesitant. Please, don't be shy. What is it you need to tell me? Lord Eldiel... Lord Eldiel's rather unwell at the moment. He claims he has a kind of chronic disease. What? Lord Eldiel is ill? I was unaware this was even possible. To my knowledge, he was never taken ill, even once. Means it's probably a curse from our troublemaking sorceress. I'm sure he would be very happy to know Adol is alive and well, but if you could at least wait until his condition improves. No, Lisa, it can't wait. We gotta see him now. I see. Well, guess we don't really have much of a choice in the matter. If he's sick, he's sick. No, Durin, we need to see him now. <laughs> Durin? I'm terribly sorry. I'll be certain to inform Eldiel, Lord Eldiel of your arrival at the first available opportunity. Man, I can't believe this. Do we really have to wait until, like, God feels better before we talk can talk to him? And our hands are tied until then, too, since we told him we wouldn't wander far too far outside the town. First Adol's memories, and now Eldiel's unprecedented illness. Seems a lot of unusual things are happening here lately. Quite insightful, Ozma. It's like everywhere Adol goes, trouble follows. You have no idea, Karna. You have no idea. It's not my fault. Good old Star Wars reference there. But yeah, we'll go with especially lately. I don't know if I believe that. I'm willing to bet you've always been this way. 
You probably just don't remember. Still, we four would have never met one another if it weren't for you. So it's not like you're always causing problems. I have no idea what kinds of unimaginable horrors await us in the future, but I know I don't regret coming with you. Nor do I. What's on your mind, Durin? Huh? Are you talking to me? This is only a suggestion at all, but how about we sneak out of town tonight and go to Eldeal's Tower ourselves? Fuck yeah, Durin! Let's go! What? Weren't we just told not to do exactly that? That's why we should do it. <laughs> well, I have a hunch. I mean, I can't prove it or anything, but still, that Lisa girl seems to be hiding something. I got a feeling it's really important. And what's stranger is, I don't get the impression it's us she's hiding it from. If anything, she seems to be hiding it from the people of Highland. Are you referring to her account of Eldiel's illness? She did seem overly hesitant to mention it, with no obvious explanation for her reluctance. Don't get me wrong, she seems like a nice girl, but I get the feeling there's more to this than meets the eye. I think it's been made quite clear to us that this town is unique in a great many ways. And with individuals acting to make the situation even more complicated, there is a high probability that no matter how long we wait, there will be no resolution to this dilemma. That's just what I was going to say, except in smaller words. <laughs> That's our information dealer. I'm kind of surprised, though. I figured you'd be against it for sure. We all have our reasons for being here. I'm tired of simply waiting for things to happen. The time has come for us to be arbiters of our own destinies. Well spoken. As the spirit, what about you, Adol? How do you feel about this? Let's do it. Don't know why I even bothered asking. Your eyes lit up like fireworks as soon as I mentioned sneaking off. So helpless. So, I guess that's that then. We should start getting ready as something tells me this won't be an easy journey. It'd be best if we got to the tower before dawn. So let's... Do, 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 do. We're doing something totally stupid. Let's save. And now I'm really glad I bought all that equipment because I'm sure all the shops are closed now. It seems that the door is a strange variety that can't be unlocked from inside right. Do -do -do. We're going to sneak out this way again. The window is unlocked. Will you go outside? Yes. Yes, we will. So this is how you've been getting out. <laughs> this is so exciting. Shh, we need to leave before anyone notices us. The north exit leads to the tower, right? The shops still seem to be open. <laughs> so we can stock up on supplies before we leave. All right, it was nice enough. The game was nice enough to do that for us. But anyway, we already stocked up. Do take care not to appear suspicious, however. Bum, 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 bum. Like ordering a shit ton of healing herbs. Hey, Adol, how about we stop by at that shop before we leave town? Philemon's workshop, was it? Yeah, that was the one that looked like it dealt with machines. We might be able to stock up on supplies there. We'd be wise to see if they, what they offer. All right, fine. Uh, I'm trying to remember. That dude was down there, I believe. Was it? No, that wasn't here. I think that dude was over here. Yep. I was right. Is that Gazak? Gazak? Wasn't that the traveling merchant we met in Cell Ray? Holy crap, it is him! What are you doing here, Gazak, and how did you get here? Actually, I happened to see you entering the ruins and decided to follow you. Oh my goodness, do you realize how dangerous that shit was, dude? I did get lost along the way, but I managed to make it here in the end. Just now, in fact. Seriously? I can't believe you made it all this way on your own. Those ruins are pretty dangerous, you know. <laughs> they don't call me Gazak the Strong for nothing. I know that forest like the back of my hand. I'm not, not letting some monsters get the best of me. Amazing, you must be stronger than you look. <laughs> I hear that a lot. Anyway, there's something you should know. I'm actually from Highland. Okay, that was, uh, that's a bombshell. <laughs> what? What are you talking about? Perhaps I should be the one to explain. You see, Gazok here is my younger brother. <laughs> you guys don't... What? You guys don't look even remotely related. <laughs> really? If I told you the whole story, we'd be here all night. So, to summarize, a few decades ago, I got myself into a bit of trouble. Took a little spill, you could say. 
and eventually found myself washed up on the opposite side of the river. I was saved by the people of Selray, and well, that was that. You've been a beloved resident of Selray ever since I was born, so I had no idea. I would never have had any way to know that you came from the other side of the river. Wait, so is this supposed to be like a big teary-eyed reunion of long-lost brothers or something? It was, yes, until you all barged in and ruined everything. <laughs> oh my god, this is amazing. Oh, it's no bother at all. What was it you came here for? Did you need something? I don't have anything I can sell to you, unfortunately. But if I use the facilities here, I should be able to reinforce your weapons and armor. Alright, well, we may as well do that. We've got tons of stuff. Of course, if you have the materials, I can even craft some accessories for you. I am Gazak the Strong, after all. Though back when I lived here before, people called me Gazak the Super Handyman instead. <laughs> That's funny. Well, we'll go along with that. Feel free to work Gazak hard while he's here. Well, fuck yeah then. Let's see, what kind of cool accessories do you have? Yeah, increases... Increases obtained gold. Meh. Events freezing. We've already got some of these. Got at least one of these. Hmm, meh. Still don't have a monkey king's hair. Not sure how I can get that, but you know what? All right, fine. We're fine. Ooh, let's look for monkey king's hair. No, you can't do any of that. We can make sapphires, which is interesting, considering I've got a crap ton of them. Although I have three sapphires already. I don't have any purple stone. I've got a billion of these things. All right, whatever. Let's reinforce this claymore. Let's see what I can do with it. What on earth? Okay, so if I reinforce it with this, the attack goes up by that. Hmm. All right, well, that's actually somewhat interesting. If I could boost it by that amount. This isn't going to take long. I'm just going to mess around with this really quick. Yeah, I don't see anything particularly interesting here. Oh, freeze, burn. <laughs> oh, shit. Well, maybe I should do the burn one. Hmm. Well, maybe I should set things set things on fire. Paralysis. I am going to guess anything worth getting paralyzed is going to be immune to it. But you know what? Let's try that ruby. Since I got three of them anyway. Yeah, let's do it. We'll turn my claymore into a claymore plus five. And got a gold ingot. Yeah, let's do that. Why not? Then we'll have attack five and burn five. Sure. What the hell? Why not? All right. I think we're good here. All right. Well, that was still pretty neat. And yeah, we upgraded our sword. So what the hell? Why not? I don't want to burn through my resources until I know for sure how it actually affects things. Especially since those materials were really, really rare. Wow, I said that like Yogi Bear. Since those things were really, really rare. <laughs> I've never seen a thunderstorm like this before. I believe this to be the only way to reach the tower. Yeah, I guess we're getting near the Sanctuary of Storms they were talking about in town. Let's get a closer look. We'll figure out how to make it through in one piece uh, once we get there. So here's the sanctuary. What? That was very bizarre. Did I hit something? Oh, that I I was okay. Yeah, I did. I was not paying attention. I accidentally hit the right trigger on the controller. That's what I was doing there. Okay. So there's one exit there that leads to town. Huh. 
<laughs> All right, so we set that guy on fire. That was pretty neat. And then we've got another one up here. So let's find out what's going on down here. This is probably not the way we want to go. So let's work this. Oh, yeah. Oh, that, was... that did not take long. But I'm guessing once we're, we go full circle, this will be an easy way down. But we'll have to go this way first. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Ah, you got me with that damn arrow again. Oh, lucky. Don't know what we got, but it must have been something pretty good. Okay, we went through that. Let's heal. Before I get any further, we are outside. Yep. Oh, it doesn't matter. I've got that uh, cloak. I've got the healing cloak. <laughs> since it was, since it's quick enough to save. Okay, let's go downhill. Oh, this is also uphill. Fuck. Oh, shit. Fine. Wow. Uh, thanks, guys. Leave some for me. <laughs> uh, Alright, so which way do I really want to go here? What is that? Take all of that. So far, I'm not really liking the sanctuary approach. It's super annoying. Lucky shot, you both bastards. Oh, great. That doesn't look great. How bad is this gonna be? Alright, let's, let's take out these guys first. Whoa! Ow, shit. Okay, let's not fuck around here. Okay. Yes, let's heal Durin because fuck me that. And that camera angle is really... There we are. Okay. Goddamn. Life elixir. We'll take that. That is probably going to be a permanent. Yep. Life elixir. At all. Perfect. That was worth it. And that thing was worth a lot of XP, too. Sweet. Nothing like a nice optional boss. <laughs> we didn't burn through a billion uh, items, either. I mean, yeah, I had to heal once because I was kind of a moron, but... Actually, let's, uh, let's heal you at all. Uh, let's heal you.
Good, they're healing also. I was worried I was going to have to switch to them as well, but it looks like just sitting still will heal them. Now, I learned my lesson last time. I was like, hey, you know what? I should get some water while I'm just waiting for them to heal. But enemies end up respawning, and they completely fucked us up. They killed at all. <laughs> yeah, here they are. That's exactly what happened. Little bastards. <laughs> So I learned my lesson. Don't go AFK while waiting for that to heal. Killed him a little too early. Okay, so we dealt with all that. We came in through there. I'm thinking let's go through that area. Damn it. See what's up here. Found something. I like money. We need to get our money reserves back. Yeah, we got some new fruit. This is looking like the area we need to go to. So why don't we actually head back? And let's go the other way. That's the only issue is, man, there's a lot of extra wandering around. Yeah, those arrow firing motherfuckers are actually the really bad ones. I do like setting enemies on fire a lot, so I think I chose wisely. Yep, alright, well, we got my better potion back. Alright. I'm glad I doubled back before we got too far. Uh, okay, so I already explored all of that. Yep, okay, so that's the way up. Okay, fine. I can't catch up to you. <laughs> Fuck you up that way. Perfect. Alright, so now we redouble our efforts here. Oh, okay. I thought we could get more off of it. Nope. Damn, it still managed to hit me. Shit. Nope, you're not getting that. Okay, fine. Let's kill this thing. Like her potions? Uh, oh, we already... Yeah, there's nothing. I feel like there's probably something down there. Let's just go check it out really quick. I mean, we discovered the map. Glad we're poisoning them a lot. Things don't seem to have a lot of immunity to poison. Unlike D&D, where everything seems to be fucking immune to poison. Hey, Darkstar! Hands out, always light things on fire, right? I think fire attacks in D&D are probably the most resisted. Damn it. Mistimed it. Of course, Radiant is really nice. Very few things resist Radiant. Damn. Okay. Come on. Cool. We'll take the purple stone. Nope. Goodbye. I fought one of you things. I'm done. 
The damn thing stamped on its hind legs. <laughs> Fire poison and ass. Yep, that sounds about. Yep, that sounds right. I just had in my head uh, poison and fire uh, redu uh, swapped, but I was I was pretty close doing that off memory. But yeah, now that you say it, it's like yeah, that's right. Fire is the most resisted. See, so yeah, if you're gonna be a sorcerer that really depends on elemental damage, from a min-maxing standpoint, picking fire is usually not the best choice. <laughs> the rain's really starting to pick up. But I mean, just from a stylistic standpoint, how do you say no to <laughs> fire <laughs> on everything, right? Mostly because a lot of uh, fiends are resistant to all three. You know, that does make a lot of sense. But even outside of fiends, it's amazing how many things have either a fire or a poison resistance. They, they come up a lot. Not too many things have lightning resistance, if I remember correctly. Um, and Radiant is usually a fairly safe choice. Because not too many things resist Radiant. Radiant, I think, is the fewest. Um, we should probably set up a tent here and rest, at all. Yeah, a tent is probably not a bad idea. Wow, this is starting to feel really exciting now. Like we're hiding out in the wilderness. <laughs> we can use this area as a base of operations during our time here then. I'm wondering what memories we'll get back from this. Yeah, though we need to be back in Highland before dawn, so we can't spend the night here or anything. We should be able to rest for a little while though at least. Okay, that makes sense. Sounds good to me. But we always get a memory when we camp. It was a quiet night. Only the sound of the falling rain and constant thunderclaps could be heard echoing through the darkness. Then, with a flash of lightning, a memory sealed deep within Adol's mind was released. How are you dar doing, Darkstar? You have a good weekend? Oh? Ah, I thought you might be interested in this sphere. Unfortunately, I cannot tell you anything about that at the moment. It would spoil all the fun. But I have a feeling that one day... You will discover the truth behind it on your own. And I do not intend to rob you of that joy. <laughs> you are the first person to ask me so many questions. My body is not supposed to feel exhaustion, and yet somehow, I think I'm beginning to understand what it's like. <laughs> I've brought some tea. Would you like to have a rest now? Thank you, Lisa. Could I trouble you to help me carry the tea at all? Hmm. Lord Eldiel? Is something the oh, matter? No. I was just thinking the two of you together qu go together quite well. <laughs> oh, poor Lisa, she's gonna get so embarrassed from that. But Adol seems to have quite a pool of wide pool of interests. As your father figure, I would be a bit worried that he might neglect the household. Uh, honestly. <laughs> Please, Lord Eldiel, don't tease me like that. <laughs> My apologies. <laughs> so I must have spent some time up there. At all. At all, you okay? You were out like a light, man. Come on. We're gonna get moving. We're running out of time. Memory fragments in the surrounding area are now visible on the map. Alright, so. Do we backtrack? We probably have to backtrack. Let's check the map. Yeah, they're gonna make me backtrack. Look at that shit. Motherfucker. 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 I still don't know how to get to this one. I have no idea how to get to that memory location. I wandered around a little bit. I'd like to maybe even double back for that, but I guess now is not the time for that. But yeah. Alright, let's... Let's double back and we'll get the memory that we didn't get. Wait. Do I have to go down and around? I probably have to go down and around. Oh. Oh, so lame. I just healed you little bastards. Whatever. 
are not fighting that thing. Fuck that thing. Get away from it. This is rare. Okay, let's just get away from those. We're just collecting memories now. Yes! Perfect. Set you on fire. Ah, oh, damn it. Ow, you hit me again. Oh, shit. <laughs> but yeah, I do enjoy setting things on fire. But I think that's going to be more helpful against boss enemies. That have a crap ton of hit, hit points. We can just kind of do that. Whittle them down a little bit. Oh, really got to deal with this one again? It respawned? No. I was on it. Oh, am I going to have to kill this thing again? Oh, I'm probably going to have to kill this thing again. Yeah, it's not going to let me do it while the damn thing is there. Fine. It's worth it. Can I at least hit it? Hopefully at least hit it. Yeah, you do that crap. There we go. There we go. We got this. Hey, take a while. Oh, damn, I couldn't dodge out of time. Over here, asshole. Well, I'm gonna regenerate. He's not. So, go me. At least I think, I don't think he's gonna regenerate. But I was really low on hit points. I hear him over there. So at this point, we probably could go over to it. We lured him that far away. At this point. Alright, make me go through all that extra work. Oh, by now these things are spawn. Nope. Goodbye. All right. Now will you? Yes, thank you. That's what I wanted you to do before. <laughs> Kalilika, this is Adol Kristen. He came here from Hysteria. Hysteria? Devil's Tower Hysteria? <laughs> also known as Darm Tower. Yeah, that Devil's Tower. Lord Eldil did say it had been freed by a traveler who arrived here recently, but... There's no way. You wanted to meet him, didn't you? <laughs> I didn't say anything about wanting to meet him. Jeez, and the way Lord Eldiel described him, I was expecting somebody a lot stronger looking than this. At all, Kalilika is very interested in the outside world. Much information finds its way here, but few of us get the chance to leave the town and see the world for ourselves. I'd greatly appreciate it if you'd let Kalilika hear about some of your adventures. Lisa. For now, though, I'm afraid I must go and report to Lord Eldiel. In the meantime, I'll leave you two to become better acquainted.
Yeah, so that was pretty neat. Remembering uh, meeting her. Oh, come on. Yeah, I'm not fighting that thing again. Goodbye. Yeah, yeah. This is rare. I don't think there's anything else in the area, right? Check the map. I don't see any other weird memories. Although there is an area other there outside of that that I don't seem to have explored. Oh, right, because we couldn't... I, I tried getting up there and we couldn't actually get up there. There we go. We're good. Back up this way we go. Not through lack of trying. <laughs> We'll take more fruit. Nope. Well, I'm thinking about it. learn a new skill or was I just I'm about to gain on blade rush which makes sense that's when we have set to that sonic slide we're doing pretty good Sonic Wave is the one we learned just recently. Yeah, I think we're okay here. I thought I learned a new skill, but I guess it was one of my companions that learned a new skill. Oh, Dodge too early. That's okay. Go this way. No, don't let it land on you. I really hate these little bastards. I don't seem to be doing very well against the archers. For whatever reason, I don't I just don't seem to handle them very well. Ah, here we go. Oh, well, that's, that's not good. <laughs> Boy, this is some storm. It shows no signs of subsiding, and there is no shelter to be found in the plains. So this is the sanctuary of storms. If we step out there, we'll be fried in no time. Yeah, I could see the tower on the other side, but actually getting to it alive seems kind of unlikely. There appear to be several strange objects scattered across the plains. You're right, I wonder what they're for. I don't know, but we're not getting any closer to the tower, just standing here. Come on, Adol, let's suck it up and go have a look. Are you sure? I really don't feel safe going out there. It'll be fine, just as long as we're careful and try to keep a low profile, we should probably be okay. I think. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, so let's... Leave it to me. Okay. Leave it to me. Okay, so let's go to the party. Maybe Ozma knows what to do with this thing. Leave it to me. Understood. Um, nobody seems to. No, none of us can do anything with it. Leave right. it to me. Yeah. Nobody can do anything with it. I'm gonna hit the Y button and it's gonna do that. 
Whenever I see a, this type of thing, it just means nobody can do anything. Let's get the hell out of here and see if... We probably need Kalilika for that. Or Liza. Um, because yeah, if I try to explore, I'm gonna die. But sure, what the fuck, right? Let's... Yep. <laughs> ah, I thought I was done for. I told you it was dangerous to go out there. I'm sorry, that probably wasn't one of my best ideas. Is something the matter? Someone's there. What? Yep, Kalilika. Yep. Watch where you're throwing those things. You could put someone's eye out. It's you. So clearly she is going to be on. necessary to do that. Oh boy, it's the kid from the mayor's place. Ooh. Grouping all children together with the <laughs> demeaning word like kid is the sort of thing adults do when they want to sound smarter than they are. It's not an attractive quality, you know. Hell's your problem. Try and get along, you guys. So, Kalilika, how long have you been following us? Hmm. I saw you leaving the mansion. Grown adults sneaking out through a window. I could hardly believe my eyes. <laughs> I suppose you plan to escort us back to Highland then. Yeah, I guess we've been caught red-handed. Nothing we could do now but go quietly. That won't be necessary. Rather, I'll be coming with you to see Lord Eldiel. What? I'm an apprentice apostle after all. I'm not some child who needs protecting. Plus, I can use my mace to activate the lightning conductors on the planes to stop the lightning from hitting us. Well, I have to admit, that definitely sounds no. handy. There is a problem with this course of action, however. If anyone notices that a child has gone missing during the night, along with us, it will spark much worry and suspicion. Yeah, that's a good point. Why don't you come back to town with us? We'll make sure no harm comes to you along the way. Oh, ho, 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 I scoff at your suggestion. If you think you could talk sweetly and get me to submit, you're sadly mistaken. You wouldn't want me telling Grandfather about this little excursion of yours now, well, do you? Because that's exactly what's going to happen unless you take me with you. Choice is yours. Oh, boy. Is she trying to blackmail us? Sure seems that way. But if the mayor discovered you were with us, would that not disqualify you as an apprentice apostle? You're a lot more perceptive than I gave you credit for. <laughs> Why are you so determined to accompany us? I assume it's not simply for curiosity's sake. Nor are you playing a game with us. Of course not. I would never do something like this without a very good reason. Lisa's hiding something about Eldiel. I know she is. How can you be so sure? We've been together for most of our lives. Believe me, I can tell. Whenever she keeps a secret, it's because she's trying to shoulder the burden without bothering anyone. It's just the kind of person she is. And I hate seeing her suffer like this. I want to help her, even if it's just a little bit. Have you tried talking to the people of Highland? Yeah, but everyone so seems content to leave things the way they are. Even Grandfather won't do anything to help. You're the only ones who seem to care enough to actually do something about it. I figured... Maybe I could count on you. <laughs> you little shit. <laughs> Don't cry. So you suspected something might be amiss at the tower and decided to take matters into your own hands. Man, you are one precocious kid. I get where you're coming from, but... Is there something wrong with a child being precocious? Do you even know what that word means, Kalilika? Adults are always dismissing what children say, telling them what they're, they're ignorant in the ways of the world. But as soon as a child starts trying to learn those ways, it always, it's always adults who put them down and say they're not ready. As long as I keep listening to what adults tell me to do, I'll never become one myself. That's actually fairly insightful. Alright, alright. What do you think, Adol? This isn't a game. I mean, it sort of is, <laughs> but <laughs> at all is correct. But it is clear that your decision was well-reasoned, considered from multiple perspectives, and executed with discretion. In short, you have acted with maturity over impulse and taken a calculated risk. I believe this is what Adol was saying. Are you saying? <laughs> Way to go, Kalilika. Welcome to the team. Thank you, everyone. If only you were this well-behaved and honest with your feelings from the start. You'd be a cute kid. 
Sometimes it's important for children to act like children, you know, and rely on adults to support them. <laughs> what was that for? You said it was important for children to act like children. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> if you attempt to belittle me again, just remember, I bite. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Stop that. It really hurts. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I promise to fall back if things get too dangerous at all. Wow. So please take me to the tower with you. Please. It's good to have you with us. Thank you. Well then, the Sanctuary of Storms awaits. You ready? Kalilika, join the party. Alright. So, yep. She's gonna have Strike. So we'll swap her for uh, Durin here. And, uh... Yeah, well, you know what? We'll go with a party of Kalilika and Ozma. That works. We'll swap them out a little bit. Okay, Kalilika, let's see what you got. Watch and learn. See those lightning conductors scattered across the plains? Those things half buried in the ground? Yeah, I can activate them with my power. As long as one is standing, no lightning will strike the area around it. But it's only temporary, so we need to reach a new conductor and activate it before the previous one shuts down. Oh. We just have to repeat that process until we reach the tower. Does Lisa really come through here every time she goes to see Eldiel? No, she has her own way of reaching the tower. Really? Time is short. We should go. Well, let's go. Yep. Kalilika fire orbs of light from her mace to activate various devices. Here I go. Alright, so let's activate this thing. Here goes. And of course they deactivate. That's gonna be interesting. Great. This is gonna suck. I'm just gonna let her stay. Let's kind of explore a little bit. There we go. One, two. I think I managed to explore that other area by just wandering close to it. So I also want map completion here. Okay, looks good. Oh boy, we got another map up here. kind of jumping to help increase speed here. One, two. I don't know if I have to run or jump rather, but... One, two. But why mess around, right? It buys us extra time. Looked like the path was uh, that way. One, two. I don't even know if I had to hit this one, but one, again, why fuck around? Damn it. I got greedy. As soon as I saw that other one, I'm like, oh, I should go for that. Yeah, I should have acted. Well, no, it's fine. One, two. Fortunately, it doesn't seem too much of a consequence to failing other than us having to restart the puzzle. One, two. So I think I can just keep getting away with uh, exploring it. Time to make a beeline for it. 
Oh, they start you at the very beginning. Okay, that's kind of lame. Okay, that part sucks. Hey, dead fool, what's going on, buddy? I'm trying not to get hit by lightning here. <laughs> With mixed results in. Oh, that is that chocolate chip cookie emoji. You, I am so jealous. You have no fucking idea. That's the most awesome dope shit ever. <laughs> that thing is awesome. <laughs> Man, I want a freaking I want a chocolate chip muffin right now. Like you have no idea. <laughs> So we got a new one here. All right, let's get to this. Try not to die again, like a chump. <laughs> but good to see you. How are you, man? Oh, cause you <laughs> it's my fault. <laughs> I happily take the blame for that. <laughs> I am a chocoholic. I love chocolate, man. <laughs> I have, I think I have those just about every morning for breakfast. Alright, so we've reached this. So let's head in here. We've reached this tower, for better or worse. Wow, those lightning bolts are getting awfully close to us. Wings are coming soon. So this is where that song plays. Nice. Yeah, wings are gonna be badass, bro. Oh, this is a nice remix of this, too. Man, East has some of the best music of any RPG I've ever played. So, uh, one of the, so when I, when I go grab some water, I could play the, uh, original, because I have the original East 4 Dawn of East soundtrack, so I've got all of those songs. So I could play the game, the game version from, uh, from 93. Actually, I might just do that. I'm going to grab some water since the ad's playing anyway. Give me one second, folks. I'll be right back. I need water. I am super thirsty. Cool. That was perfect. Yeah, I was super thirsty. So, yeah, as soon as I saw the ad, I'm like, you know what? Perfect timing. I'm going to hydrate like a motherfucker. Yeah, I'm looking forward to the wings uh, emoji. That's going to be fucking lit. <laughs> All right, let's go back to in game here. Yeah, this is a good remix, man. Oh, man. All right, phew. We finally made it. I could feel the hairs on the back of my neck standing up every time lightning was about to strike. That was scary. So what now? There's an elevator nearby that'll take us up to Lord Eldiel's room. We should head there right away. Understood. All right. Let's go back to Adol here. Since we made it, yes. This is such a strange place. What are those things below us? They're the mechanisms that control the sanctuary storms. Oh, really? Wait, seriously? Those things are what make those crazy storms we just passed through? Yep. 
Lord Eldiel uses them to directly control the rain and thunderstorms in the sanctuary. And the rain from the sanctuary flows into the river, which is responsible for the rapid currents on this side. So in a way, you could say they spin to help protect these primeval lands from any who would do them harm. Truly the work of a god. We've been told that Lord Eldiel came from a distant land on the other side of the ocean a long, long time ago. And he modeled these mechanisms after a weather controlling device that existed there. Oh my god. So, okay, chat. Uh, yeah, that's that's a reference to another East game entirely. Uh, that's so badass that there's a reference of that in that game from East 4 here. I wonder if the original reference is even in the original games. Wow. Over there is the elevator that will take us up to his room. Hop aboard, everyone. Huh? Work? What the hell kind of... Ah, okay, yeah, we gotta do bullshit to turn the elevators on. What's wrong? The elevator doesn't seem to be working. This has never happened before. Is there any other way up? Well, yes, but... Yeah, of course we have to go through monsters to do it. Please don't stare, say that staircase. I'm sure it would be wonderful exercise, but I wouldn't really recommend it as anything other than a last resort. There seem to be a variety of monsters patrolling these platforms too. Those are the tower's guardians. Looks like we'll have to get past them if we want to win ourselves an audience with Lord Eldiel. We can't turn back now. Yeah, we've come too far to go back empty handed. Let's do this. I'm worried something may have happened to Lord Eldiel. Please let me come with you. Okay then, let's go. Well, that would have been convenient if the stupid elevator had worked, but that would have been too easy. Uh, great, that means there's gonna be a shit ton of paralysis shit in here. Whoa. Okay. Well, that thing will just die like a bit. Oh, great, no. The map, whole fucking thing's gonna be a goddamn map a maze, isn't it? Yeah, it's gonna be a maze. It's gonna be a fucking maze. Fuck. <laughs> fuck, 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 Oh, holy shit. What the ever living fuck is this shit? I think I have chosen poorly, chat. Okay. Nope. Nope. Not that. Nope. 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 Goodbye. You missed, motherfucker. That's right. I don't know how I'm setting a gigantic rock golem on fire, but fuck it. We're rolling with it. <laughs> Okay, we gained a shit ton of levels off of that. I'm assuming we weren't supposed to be able to do that. <laughs> okay, so that just fucking happened. You at least have a treasure chest for me? That's a fucking mimic. Oh my god. <laughs> that is such bullshit. Are you... Okay, that one's a real one. <laughs> Holy crap. Hey, Ziltoid, what do we think about the fucking mimic? Oh, so lame. <laughs> I can't fucking believe it. Wow. <laughs> Holy shit, isn't it? Okay, so this is. Here I go. Here goes. What does that do? Oh, well, that looked important. Great, so we're gonna have to do this kind of shit too. Did I already 
Yes, I did. Okay. So we could have just bypassed that whole shit, but yeah, whatever. Wait. That's a treasure chest. Let's go get that treasure chest. Uh. Okay, or not. Hmm. I probably have to drop down to it from above. <laughs> Whoops. I talked smack and then they... <laughs> Okay. I can talk smack again. <laughs> okay, so ooh, okay, that's gonna be a good treasure chest. But I see bullshit to get to it. Yeah, I took damage. That was stupid on my part. Let's see. I hate this bullshit. Oh. Hi, right, guys. Just in case there's a monster over here. Okay, there isn't. I think there's a direct way to that. I just forget what the button is. Okay, what the hell is that? It's not that. Guessing it's going to be an equipment. Recover more SP on a skill finish. Oh. I mean, that's actually pretty nice. You know what? Once I... When I'm fighting a boss, that'll be good for that. Come on. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Yeah, it's not that button. All right. I thought there was a direct way to this, but not the end of the world. All right, what enemies respawned while we were doing that? Oh, none of them. Nice. Okay, so, so far this tower is uh, interesting. All right, so... Yeah, I don't know how I'm getting to that, but I am guessing we can come back to it. Let's... <laughs> Okay, so it was a half hour. <laughs> I was like, I'm going to sneeze in a minute. Half hour later, that sneeze finally decides to happen. All right, we will let the cloak that heals us when we stand still work its magic while it also heals our friends, and I will take another drink. Thankfully, it speeds up. But it also does kind of simulate, like, taking a short rest in D&D. So let's save. So we don't have to do that first floor again. Oh, fuck it. We know there's going to be something here. Let's just do it. Oh, there's this flame. Cool. if I should have waited to go that way to see what it would be. Oh, but it looks like I could reactivate it over and over again. That's good. Uh, you know what? Let's do that. Here goes. That'll switch it back. Oh, it... Oh, Jesus. I'm gonna hate this already.
Hmm. So that's the original position. Leave it to me. All right. Let's let's just see what else was over here. Straightforward. Well, I'm glad I didn't just continue on to advance. That looks like it's going to be a really nice treasure chest. Let's find out what's in it. Boom. Oh, fuck you. Don't be near it while it's attacking. That was such... That was such... Such bullshit. Oh, man. Falcom and their... Sometimes very, very devious dungeon designs. I got an uh, achievement for that. Sweet. Successfully flash, uh, flash dodge 50 times. Nice. All right, well, achievements are nice. Okay, so we got all that. All I got for the trouble was a fucking mimic. Oh, uh, that's fine. I'm not bitter. Not bitter. Not fucking bitter. <laughs> Oh, man. Leave it to me. Leave it to me. Okay, so we got that. What is that actually going to unlock for me? Before I hit it. Well, we got two. So that's cute. All right. So we got this thing over here. It's my turn. Fine. Let's hit you. Let's see what this activates. Okay. Now we hit the other one. And we can get that treasure chest, whatever's in it. No, we can't. Really? Missing. What am I missing? Do I just need to hit this one twice? Nope. This one's activated now. Leave it to me. All right. All right. I'll be back for you, treasure chest. That's not what I wanted. Hello, cat. So the uh, same button to activate the uh, ability is the same as your ultimate attack. So yeah, I've spent many an ultimate attack just trying to activate these things. All right, I guess I'm coming back for it. Hello, Cleo. How is my kitty kitty? Oh, how is my kitty kitty? Hello, baby girl. Hi. Hello, kitty. Oh, you a good girl. She's my good girl. My co-host has arrived. There's probably going to be one over here. Let's head over here. So that certainly looks like... Hi, kitty. Here. Okay. Have some water. I know. I love you too, cat. Oh, okay. Well, that's cool. Okay, so we don't need to activate that thing anymore to do any doubling back. That's nice. Okay. That is super cool. But I still don't know how to get to that area over there. 
nor do I know how to... Whoops, nope, nope. Me your goodies. It's my turn. Here goes. Now does that other thing raise? Let's find out. Yep. That was it. Alright. Figured that had to be what was going on there. Understood. Alright. Let's head back this way. Man, it's so nice that we don't have to hit that thing a whole bunch of other times. That would have been tedious as shit. Please be worth it. Probably freeze? Yep, prevents freezing. That's pretty cool. I suspect I'm going to need that if they're giving me one. Thirsty cat. Oops, I'm going the wrong way. You have water. You have actually two cups of water on the floor for your cat that I gave you. Nope, she's got to have my water. What am I going to do with this cat? Ow! Whatever. I don't really care about heavy. Hello. Oh, hello. Okay. Can we not rub up against the mic stand? Can we, can we not do that? Hello. Hello. Sorry, chat. Give me just one second. Hi. 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 Hello. Uh, really? Really, cat? Okay. <laughs> cat needed a pet. Hello. I know I love you too, Cleo. How's everybody doing? This is a good moment to get, ask everybody, how are you doing? <laughs> How's everybody's week doing? Okay, good. She didn't, she wasn't that distracted. She's just being a brat. You gonna hang out with me while I play a game? Mm hmm? Gonna be a good girl? Hi. I know everybody loves you more than me anyway. <laughs> As they should. Cats rule the internet, man. <laughs> and she is adorable. Okay, where were we? Okay, we took care of that. Okay. We got that taken care of. Okay, we can move on. Nope. Nope. <laughs> Hello, cat. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi, cat. <laughs> Cat, really? Hi. Hi. Hello. Hi. You're you're such a weirdo. Ahem. Okay. Hello, cat. Hi, cat. Hi. I love you too. Yeah, you, you needed a pet? Okay. Decided you need a pet after all, huh? Okay, I will give you a pet. I know. I know. I know. Hey, good. <laughs> yeah, just chilling. Been calm this week. Yeah, calm week is sort of always nice. I've been uh, continuing to do some schoolwork. 
as is uh, tradition. Getting some reading in, so that's been nice. Actually, I ended up reading. Um, actually, I ended up doing some pleasure reading for once. Uh, I was uh, so if anybody's ever watched my my happy marriage on uh, Netflix, it's basically Japanese Cinderella. Oh, you need more water again? Okay, here you go. No, I'm giving you water. I'm making it easier for you. No, you didn't didn't want water. Okay, gonna sit down. Okay. <laughs> yes. Hello, my brat. This cat is so spoiled. <laughs> I'm glad she's feeling better, though. A couple of weeks ago, she had a cold. She wasn't feeling herself, and now she's back to uh, being my co-host of chaos. Hello, cat. Oh, okay. You're going to use my armrest as, as your armrest? Okay. Well, I, I won't move my chair then. Oh, you got you got schmutz in your ear. Let's take care of that. <laughs> so, yeah, I ended up getting the light novels because I wanted to see how the story went. So it's been nice to do at least a little bit of pleasure reading. And it's it's very, very, very light pleasure reading. Okay, I think Cat might be okay here for a minute. Oh god, we got another one of these assholes. Man, these things are brutal. No, you're not gonna fire that shit at me again. Damn it. Teleported out and fucking it dodged my attack there. Yes, you can paw at my mouse. I don't care now. Oh, Jesus. Now, yeah, that sucks. Really didn't want to fight a billion of these things. Ow, oh, shit. Ow, ow. Damn it. Let's heal the heavy. Can I cure heavy? I don't think I can cure heavy. Shit. Alright. Clearly, though, these things... Ah! Alright. Well, at least we got that. Good. At least that attack still gets me to move. So I can use that to dodge. When there's not, when there's just one of them, it's very manageable. When there are two, that becomes very difficult. There we go. Okay. Oh my God, we got three of them. Oh, I don't like this at all. All right, what happens if we activate this one? Is this going to be some sort of, like, bullshit puzzle where, yep, it is. Great. Great. That's super awesome. All right. Well, let's see what happens when I activate this one. Oh. Okay. That works. Cool. I lucked into the right combination. Understood. All right. Okay. So that leads that way. Yeah, I knew. I just knew. Same thing with you. Be the wrong size. That one might be a real one, though. Okay. Ooh. Wonder what a chari a chariz cape is. What are we doing, cat? Hi. Okay. Hi. Hi. I love you too. I, I love you too. I love you too. What are we doing? Oops. Hmm. Can she equip the Cherise Cape? Strength goes up or defense goes down a lot though. Place in power to make its wearer stronger. Hmm. I don't know. I think I'd rather. I'd rather just go with that. Oh, let's go with accessories here. Yeah, let's make you a little less squishy. Sure, let's go with that. In the meantime, let's. Um... I really do want to keep the silver axe, but I cannot be constantly getting heavied. 
So we'll put the silver axe on you. Alright. Uh let's go this way. See what's down this way. Alright. That's not too bad. Perfect. Bastard. Oh. You're gonna run out of steam at some point, asshole. There we go. Still trying to figure out how to get to that one, uh... Damn it. Just timed it. Tried doing the flash move. Totally backfired. Oh, I hate this fucking thing. Ah. Take that, asshole. Where's the next one? I know there's gonna be more. Gonna get a drink of water. Greetings, cat. Decided to just hang out and be a normal cat, huh? Gonna hang out with us? <laughs> and this cat is such a character. While we wait for the hit points to come back up. She has such a motor on her, oh my goodness. I've never had a cat purr as loud as this cat does. And like I said last time, I learned my lesson not going to the pause screen. Walking downstairs to some water, come back. Adol's dead. Durin's dead, I think. <laughs> it's nice to have passive healing. Of course, for that, I'm taking advantage of, um, of the artifact, the spirit cape. We've got that equipped. And it restores HP when the starting party stands still. But yeah, it is nice to have passive healing instead of being blowing through your uh, healing items. While I'm at it, let's save. It's not on. Have to redo all that bullshit. So there is a treasure chest down there. How did I miss it? Right? How did I miss that treasure chest? I'm gonna blame Cleo. Oh, no, no. Oh, fuck. I really don't want to fight all this shit again. Oh, come on. Shit. You know what? Fuck it. Yeah. Let's just get the hell out of here. I'll come back for that treasure chest. I'll come back for it. It'll be okay. I fucked up. Sarah fucked up. Sarah fucked up. <laughs> All right. I'll try not to do that again. Mimic? Oh, nope. Lucky. Reeled. Oh, emerald. Okay. Oh, cool. We've got a... Uh... Cool. Tower of Providence, they call it. All right. Well, that works. Okay. That probably means we've got a boss fight, which... Uh... That's... that sucks. Alright. <sighs> okay. Do I equip the freezing thing? Or do I keep the heavy on? I'm gonna equip the anti-freezing. And hope for the best. Right. Yeah, that thing's not going to fucking try to kill us in a second. Yep, here it is. Son of a bitch. I hate this already. <laughs> the 
Guardian of the Storms, huh? Krell Amesia. Well, okay. I'm glad I saved. So even if this thing fucking kills me. Do I have to kill it? Oh, wow. That does a lot of damage. Wow. Uh. Ow. Okay. I think we're gonna have to do. Ow. Fuck. Wow, that that's some serious damage. Uh, damn it. Wow. Okay, that's not too terrible. Okay, now the guardian. Ow! Okay, we haven't done any damage to it yet. That's super awesome. Oh, this is cool. Okay. Oh, and it spins outwards. That's nice. Okay, so... Ow. Man. I think that's what I'm supposed to do, but... Alright, I'm not really sure what the hell I'm supposed to be doing here. Yet. I think I need to attack these things, but... Oh my god, this thing... Okay, that's what you're supposed to do, clearly. Okay, so I'm gonna stand in the middle here. Ow. Damn. Okay, so we're gonna have to go outwards and in. Okay, and then it's gonna fire this shit. Nope, it's gonna do that again. And then go inside. Alright. Attack this more. Guard comes up. Ow. Alright, so now I'm dead here. I'm not all that worried about it. This is mostly a figure out how this fucking shit works. Okay, yep, that's what we have to do. And we're just gonna have to go one by one. That is really hard to avoid. Wow, okay, we're just gonna have to do flash move a lot. Attack this thing, man. Okay, and start. Man, that is really annoying. Yeah, I'm gonna hate this boss, but I think that's what you're supposed to do. Uh, although at least that's somewhat easy to flash move. Somewhat, but man, it's easier just to try to avoid it. I think I'm just going to try and do a better job of... Okay. This looks like it's a little easier to do. Man. So, now that we've armed, now that we're armed with that. Okay. Yeah, I didn't need to equip uh, the anti-freezing thing, but all right. Let's try this. jumped right into it that time. That was stupid. Oops. Damn. Still managed to hit me with that. Oh, it's so lame. <laughs> Alright. Let's... Yeah, bitter potion. We'll heal that. We've got this. It's annoying, but... Still managed to hit me with that fucking that. Oops. 
Shit. Messing up the timing on that. Yeah, I still took damage because I'm an idiot. Another. Man, these are really hard to dodge. Damn. Oh, yeah, I actually did dodge that. Damn it. That was the case where doing the flash move is actually to my detriment. Ow! God damn. Okay, we're almost there. Oh, damn. Yeah, yeah. Got him. That thing was just annoying. But we got it. And I did a shit job of uh, dodging it. Even when I kind of figured out, all right, I got to dodge this shit in this way. Still had a hard time with that. I'm guessing this is going to let us run up that one wall. Yep, already sends certain steep slopes. All right, so that'll be neat. All right, well then let's go to the bottom. Tower. Oh my God, am I only at the mid? I'm only at the mid, aren't I? Oh my goodness. Oh, no, 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 let's, let's get inside. <laughs> Let's get inside right now. All right, so now we can, it's probably an artifact. Yep. Question is, is it just forward? Yep, it's just forward. Let's just do this right now. Nope. Hold B button. Oh, okay. Of course, of course we go up here and it's a fucking mimic. That's, that's the biggest bunch of bullshit ever. <laughs> Come here, asshole. Yeah, I know. Okay, we should be good. That sounds like a... Hey, Freakbot, how are you? We... Are playing East Memories of Celsetta. Give me one second, I'll do a shout out for you. Let's uh, switch out Kalilika for Durin here. Leave it to me. There we go. Let's find out what was in this fucking thing. Oh, really? We did all that to fight a bunch of mimics and a warrior seal. So, yeah, there are mimics in this fucking tower. Because, you know, we haven't had enough of that. Hey, Nikki, thank you for handling my shout outs. I was just about to do that. But I'm most appreciated. So welcome, Raiders. Uh, I think all of you know me, but just for the whole social convention of Twitch. Uh, welcome, I am Resplendent Seraph. I play a bunch of RPGs, and today is no different. I am playing the remake of East 4 Memories of Celsetta. Yes, I appreciate that. There we go. <laughs> I love that sound alert. Oh my God, it's the best. Uh, yeah, Project X Zone is freaking amazing. That game is super awesome. So yeah, feel free to check out uh, Rob the Wonderful. And yes, Dark Star is playing Shining Force 3. Shining Force has a, a very special place in my, in my heart. It's, it's one of the best RPGs that came out on the Sega consoles. Shining Force 2 is a Genesis console. Shining Force 3, I think it came out for the Saturn. He'll correct me if I'm wrong on that. Um, yep, Dead Fool, 
Dead, Dead's in here. Lur- he, he, he's lurking around here somewhere. Dead's cool. <laughs> oh, God. Dead Fool's cool. Oh, God. Yeah. We're going to forget that little accidental rhyme. Pardon me. <laughs> I'm very sorry about that. <laughs> All right, let's go outside. Let's get to that thing because I don't really feel like fighting any of this shit again. And let's go back to the start. Now that we know how we get up to that spot. We did explore the whole thing. Yep, we got everything of value there. Let's not die to these things. Fucking lightning. We're going to interact with that. Yep. Tower Providence mid. So yeah, we're scaling a tower. Thanks, one finger typing. <laughs> That's pretty good for one finger typing. So let's redo our party here. Let's swap Durin out for Kalilika because she's been invaluable on this whole journey. Um, I like Karna because she can fire at long range. But Ozma's been helping us out with boosting our defense, which we've really needed. But you know what? We're going to swap out Ozma for Karna here. Let's equip. Turns out I didn't need the freezing thing after all. So let's prevent heavy. Things have been trying to heavy us left and... Why is that thing back? If that thing turns back on again, so fucking help me. Okay, thank goodness. I thought that boss was going to turn on again. I was like, no! <laughs> Speaking of, oh no! Gotta love JoJo. I need to finish watching that series at some point. So, so set in Panacea, huh? What is so set in Panacea? There it is. <laughs> Recovers all HP and revives fallen ally. All right. Well, that is awesome. Great. So we're only halfway up this fucking tower. That's that's super great. Oh, we're going to have to fight that thing again, aren't we? It was annoying enough the first time. Boo. Boo, I say. Oh, we're outside. I hope we're not going to get hit by lightning out here. Oh, okay. We need to... Why can't I equip out here? Oh, that's going to be lame. Oh, I've got the gals. Okay, good. I've got them equipped. Well, let's find out. Oh, that's such bullshit. That is total bullshit. You know, I really should do a Ryuji sound alert. Can I not go up here? Nope, I gotta fight it, I guess. Great, that's super awesome. I hate this thing. Oh, you fucking bastard. Oh, god damn you. This is such bullshit. Oh, come on. Run up that at all. Come on. Thank you. Ow. Oh my god, that hurts so bad. <laughs> this is such bullshit. <laughs> I cannot believe how much this sucks. You know what, fuck it. Yeah, I'll take that Kaiser potion. That was such horseshit. <laughs> And you just know we're going to have to fight that thing again. You know we're fighting that thing again. <laughs> it's it's going to happen. And now every time I come across a treasure chest, I'm afraid it's a fucking mimic. God damn it. Ah, but this would let us go downstairs now, I bet. No, it's still not going to go. let us go downstairs. Awesome. Sweet, sweet. That's super cool. Thanks. Thanks. Here I go. One, two... 
<laughs> so yeah, Kalilika has been invaluable because without her, we wouldn't be able to go up this at all. Oh, great. Now I got to scale that surface. Okay. I can do this. I can totally do this. Okay. Cool. Okay. Oh, no. And it's another mimic. We're at least gaining levels. Uh, what am I doing here? Okay. I love Karna's ability to just juggle a lot of these enemies. At that point, we just juggled his ass. Oh look, more bullshit. I love how we could poison it, set it on fire, and it's like stone. No, nope, don't get closer to that other one. Yeah, that was the problem. Where are you? You're over here. Yeah, he still hit me, bastard. Where is it? Where'd it go? Did we kill it? No, oh, maybe we killed it. Yeah! We killed it! Fuck you! <laughs> oh, oh, we got two of them. Oh! They fire eye lasers! Cause you know, being 10 times my height and being able to smash me into bits wasn't enough. They could fire eye lasers. That's, that's awesome. That's, that's just great. That's, that's just great. <laughs> Oh man, East never, never ceases to uh, throw curveballs. Oh damn it! Damn it! Where is it? I'm gonna need to sit still in a second to heal. These two really fucked us up. Holy shiznit. Okay, let's let's just let oh, I gotta turn on the uh, artifact that does that. Yeah, let's turn on our spirit cape here. Worries me because I've got three on the left and only one on the right. So either I got the spirit cape early, or I missed an artifact. I hope I didn't miss an artifact. So yes, we're going to let passive healing do, uh, do some wonders here, because um, I've already used a couple of healing items. I'm starting to run low on those bitter potions. I may have to go back to town and buy more of them. Those things are expensive, too. Although we've certainly made our money. That's not an issue. Let's see. I think I'm going to need to go to the right because the area to the left is cordoned off. So let's save. Now that we've regained all our hit points. Alright, so we got a bunch of these that are cordoned off. How do we... Oh. Nope. Nope. Oh, look. Another asshole. Oh, shit. What the fuck was that? 
All right, so this is obviously the way out, and the other one is, leads to treasure chests. Yep, okay. Yeah. Let's just fucking kill these guys. There we go. Wow, that one survived? It must have been out of range. Killed that one. Here I go. Karna, do me a favor. Do your mace magic. Thank you kindly. Oh, that's pretty cool. Outside, we're uh, we're actually above a lot of the clouds now. That's a nice detail. Let's go. Leave it to me. Okay. Okay. Spikes are down, but we got to get that treasure chest. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Oh, no, 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 no. Wait, is there not another one? Ah, it's my turn. thank you. One, two. I was like, what did I miss? So how did, uh, how did the randomizer go? Leave it to me. Leave it to me. Oh, oh. Oh, no. Oh, oh, hell no. Save. Because you know if I get hit by one of these fucking things, I'm going to get knocked over. Oh, it's timed? Is this fucking thing timed? Here I go. Motherfucker. Okay. Okay, I think I see how I have to do this. Okay. I see how I have to do this. Okay. Oh, this... We were so close to finishing it. Nice. Okay. Oh, and they can knock us over, too. I can see that. That's gonna be super cool. Yeah, that's great. Come on. Ow. No. Ah. I didn't get there in time. I got hit by two of them. Okay. They don't do all that much damage. That's the good news. And maybe we can't get knocked off. Maybe we can't get knocked off, so that's good. I'm gonna have to time this just right. We take a death at turtle rock. Oh, give me two seconds here. I'll read that in a second. Okay. No. Come on, come on, come on. You're almost there. Oh, I got hit by it twice. I was, I was right there. Okay, so you're actually better just doing the normal dash jumps. Because when we run, we're... Yeah, that's the better way to do it. One, two. Okay, we got this. Forgot to get potions and I didn't feel like going back. <laughs> uh, it's brutal. All right. Fortunately, not taken. Ow. All right, we already fucked up. I'll just wait for it. Man, there better be something good in that fucking treasure chest to be worth this much trouble. Oh, jeez, man. That is so precise. All right, so don't run. I just got to start walking. Don't dash at first. As soon as that thing moves, then I dash. That knockback is brutal. But at least it's not knocking you off the floor, like would was happening in Oath of Fulgana. Oh, that's... Oh, we're good. Okay. I was like, did we miss it? <laughs> but no, we made it just in time. All right, now we can kill these assholes. Leave it to me. Oh, well, that's nice. Oh, it's a mimic. That's great. I went through all that trouble for a fucking mimic. Bastard. Well, that one will be fine at least. Let's get Durin in. Swap out Durin here real quick. Leave it to me. 
Well, at least we get one treasure chest. All right, well, she got a nice, cool item there. Uh, yeah, we have the Turtle Rock, Ganon's Tower, and Torian left to go. Wow, you are close. Shit, you weren't... You were not kidding. Let's see. Yep, perfect. Okay. Leave it to me. All right. Okay, well, at least we don't have to do anything really weird to get back out of there. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Nope. Goodbye. <sighs> okay, I didn't actually have to run up that wall. It looked like I had to run up it. But I know the boss is going to come back. We just know that boss is out there. And it's probably here. Yep, it's probably here. I'm probably going to have to fight that thing again. Well... At least we have Rota Droplet. Misery Mire and Swap Palace are skippable. That is nice. I'm not a big fan of Misery Mire. It's not the worst dungeon, but it's uh, not great. Okay. What do we have to deal with here? Yeah, it's back. Fuck. All right, we've got this. Let's see if we can figure this fucker out. Okay, well, we can just walk up and hit him. So that part's nice. Ow! Boy, he hits you like a tank, though. Well, that sucks. It's a fucking black hole. Holy shit, dude. Man, this so reeks of Garland here. Ow, ow, ow. That sucked. I did not mean to go towards it. I did not want to walk toward it. You know, I wonder if that can work here. Not that it really matters. I don't think I'm going to have time to really sit around. Oh, it is Garland. Fucking Garland. It's literally Garland from uh, Oath of Fulgana. Except the arms are destructible. Why did I get stuck? That sucked. Oh, and his arms regenerate, so that part kind of sucks. Yeah, you keep doing that attack. That works for me. Just keep doing that, buddy. Let me guess, you're gonna self-destruct just like Garland did. Oh, that's even worse! What? You gotta be 
fucking kidding me? Oh, you little bastard. That sucks so much. That sucks so, so much. Let's just Saul Breaker this asshole. Since I have my ultimate attack. And of course it has a memorial cannon, because of course it does. Alright, but we still got it. Alright, that wasn't really terrible. But interesting that they brought essentially Garland back. Yeah, was not a fan of that boss at all. <laughs> that boss sucked on every form. <laughs> not the tower itself was actually kind of fun. That boss was uh, fairly annoying in in most of it. I'm guessing this will eventually lead us back down. So let's see what happens when we go up. Yes, yeah, so let's ascend to the top floor. And it would be really nice if Darm wasn't... Oh, right, I can't... It just occurred to me, I let... Just occurred to me, I let drink Cleo drink out of my water. And then uh, I realized I continue to just drink out of that water. <laughs> That's, uh, that's disgusting. Oh my god. Alright, let me... Before we deal with that, let me save. Give me two seconds. Let me get a new cup of water that my cat hasn't stuck her head into. <laughs> oh, I'm stupid as hell. Yeah, I got, I got thirsty and stupid. <laughs> Tastes like... It osmosis. <laughs> Tastes like stupidity. <laughs> oh my god. Cat, you're killing me here. <laughs> you're adorable, but I'm... Why? Why are you doing that on my... That was awesome. Didn't even occur to me until I'm looking at the cup and I'm seeing it totally empty and I'm like, oh, Cleo drank a... And then I'm like, oh. Oh. Ew. Yeah. Super awesome. Super awesome. My cat's awesome. Oh. Wow. <laughs> For your viewing amusement, <laughs> this time without. It didn't taste strange, so she must not have left any fur in it or anything, you know, really gross. It's just, it's just the idea of it. Like, oh God, really, Seraph? Nice job, dumb shit. All right. Ugh. Good grief. All right, let's see what's going here. All right, we saved. Let's advance. All right, Lord Eldiel. What is your issue? There we go. Now we're finally back in this room. I had a feeling this was at the top of the tower. We finally made it. Sure took us forever to get up here. Oh. <laughs> 
Lord Eldiel! Where are you? And why is this room in such a mess again? Sheesh. Honestly, Lisa is kind enough to tidy up, but we take our eyes off him for a few minutes and he's back to how it was. He sure has a lot of books. So this is the room Adol was invited to. There do seem to be a whole lot of things in here that I've never seen before. So all of this is knowledge that Eldiel intends to give to others? I wonder what he planned to impart upon Adol. We can ask him if we find him. Come on, he's got to be around here somewhere, right? That is totally a globe of the world. But, I mean, I gotta imagine people of East, like, know what's going on, right? <laughs> like, they don't think the world's flat, I don't think. Alright, let's head out in this balcony. This is where we talked to Eldiel before. Lord Eldiel. So he's... He is the one they call a god. I thought you might come, Kalilika. And... It's nice to finally meet you. Well, yeah, we'll do all... It's nice to see you again. I do remember him a little. Indeed, it's a pleasure to see you again as well, Adol Kristen. I am truly relieved to see that you've made it back here safely. Lord Eldiel, how are you feeling? Lisa told us you were unwell. I see, so that is how she explained it then. Today, at the very least, I'm feeling wonderful. So wonderful that I thought I would come outside for a while and enjoy the breeze. Does that mean you really were feeling sick? Do you believe Lisa to be keeping secrets from you, Kalilika? I know how perceptive you can be, and how much genuine concern you hold for the well-being of those around you. Yeah, I thought she might be hiding something. Lisa's claim is roughly half true, and half understandably false. My body is different to that of yours. I don't take ill in quite the same manner as you. So, are you okay, or aren't you? The process my body is undergoing right now is more unique than mere sickness, and it is there for that reason that I summoned Adol here. Me? Lord Eldiel? <laughs> I hadn't expected this to occur again so soon. <laughs> Please, Adol Kalilka, you must stay back. Hmm, what's... What's happening? His hair and his wings are changing color. Okay, <laughs> Lord Eldiel? Adol, Kristen. I thank you for sparing me the trouble of hunting you down myself. Oh boy. <laughs> His tone is different. As though he has become a completely different person. No. Now. I will have you return what is rightfully mine. The Mask of the Sun. Give it back. The Mask of the Sun? You humans are unworthy to bear such a powerful artifact. Only I am suited to possess such strength. Uh, this is not good. Stop this. You never know when to give up. Lord Eldiel. Everything is returned to its original hue. What just happened? And the Movo that Movo's possessed, right? I don't know, could it be that weird purple mark on his forehead, right? Uh, it is as if there were two there, there were two people, or two divinities, inhabiting the same body. That's gotta be what Lisa saw that had her so flustered. 
I don't blame her for wanting to keep quiet about it. Could he have always been like this? Or perhaps this affliction has only begun occurring recently? Mamani's on a mixture of the two. It's something that hadn't happened for a long time, but just started flaring up again. Ah, here they come. How's he doing? He's sleeping now. He does look a little better, but... Adol, I think this might be too much for us to handle right now. I'm worried about Eldiel, but we need to go back to town and talk to the mayor of something. Figure out what to... Hey. What is it? I smell something strange. It's not, not me, I swear. No, I smell it too. It seems to be riding on the wind from quite a distance away. Quite a distance, as in... Highland? Uh, the sorceress and the beast tamer. Is that smoke? Oh no. No way. That's cannon fire. What does cannon mean? Wait, are you talking about the weapons used by your military? Who could bring something like that all the way here? No. It couldn't be. Grandfather. Lisa. At all. Kalilika and I reactivated the elevator to the bottom floor while we were looking after Eldiel. We can use that to get out of here right now. Come on. Let's hurry to Highland. Right. Lord Eldiel, we'll be back with Lisa soon. Ah, we've reunited with Eldiel at the Tower of Providence. Yes, return to lower floors. I'm just glad... Return to the first floor. I'm just glad this tower isn't nearly as bad as uh, Devil's Tower or Darm Tower. <laughs> this is so much more convenient than those damned stairs. Wish we could have used this on the way up too. Wonder what made it stop working. I still have no idea. I can't imagine Lord Eldiel would shut it off himself. Karna, can you sense it too? Yeah, we're not alone in here. Oh, don't say that. We really don't have time to be hanging around here anymore. I dislike leaving under the circumstances, but I agree. We must hurry back to Highland. I wonder if there's an easy way out of this. at least explore this. Doesn't look like the lightning's striking anymore, so I think we're safe to explore this now. Yeah, it looks like we are safe to explore this now. Well, let's just complete the map. That way, when we are able to go back to the Governor General, we can report some progress. Maybe there's something over here now. nothing over there but it would be really nice there's no reason to go this way right now okay fine game's not gonna let me go that way yeah it doesn't look like I have to activate these anymore cool Well, that's nice. All right. Yeah, you guys missed it. When we first had to run across this, lightning would blast us unless we uh, activated these things crossing this field. It was um, interesting. Actually, is there any other area of this I haven't explored? Nope. Okay, we got it all. Yep, it's just straightforward now. Alright. Yeah, much easier without lightning constantly trying to strike us and kill us instantly. That was painful. <laughs> like, ouch there. Alright, 
So now... Oh, I could have... Oh, I could have just... Damn it. Okay, fine. I forgot these were all linked. I didn't need to even run that way. I could have just fast traveled here. Let's find out what's going on. Let's go back to town. I could have just done that from the beginning. question is who the hell were able to bring cannons all the way over here i mean initially i was thinking the sorceress but now i'm almost wondering did commander leo lose his mind and bring cannon across the river but how would he would even have done that and leo didn't strike me as the uh crazy type he was just like well strikes me as kind of batty but not like violent crazy this is awful kalilika Fortunately, it appears none of the residences uh, were harmed. Every blast looks to have been directed at the roads. So they were just warning shots? Come on, Adol. Let's get to the Kalilika's house. Be careful, though. The attackers might still be around. Masks? No. Okay, well, that answers that question. Are these the same masked invaders as the ones you spoke of, Karna? I don't know. The masks look different, but... Pretty sure that's Roman army regalia they're wearing. So that really was Roman cannon fire then. But why? Who are you? Probably not going to answer. Yep, it's just like uh, the masked soldiers that attacked um, Komodo. They were just like... It's always the ones you least suspect. That is true. That is very true. <laughs> but now if there are masks, then it's the sorceress. No response here either. Just like in Komodo. This isn't looking good. Ooh. Ooh. You guys got some serious range. Man, we've debuffed the ever shit out of these guys. Well, that worked. <laughs> uh, no more? Okay. <sighs> their strength, their reaction speeds, it's exactly the same as in Komodo. It's like they aren't even human. If they are soldiers from your Romun army. That would imply they are well-trained, even without the power of the masks. I am uncertain how long we can stand our ground against a foe this powerful. Ah, oh, So lame. We got more? I believe we may be out of options. Stand down. Ah, this fucking creepy motherfucker again. Isn't that... We met in Kaznan, right? Yeah, he said his name's Gruda. And he's in charge of the Roman army. <laughs> now, this guy doesn't surprise me. At all, Kristen. <laughs> Fancy meeting you here. Allow me to extend my deepest gratitude for guiding us to Highland. Why would you do this? I am, after all, under no obligation to discuss my actions with you. You mobilized quickly, considering we only just got here recently ourselves. I take it you are well informed. You after El Lord Eldiel's tower? <laughs> the knowledge of the sanctuary is great indeed, but represents only the tiniest footnote in our grand scheme. Our true objective lies even deeper in the forest. Deeper? No, you can't mean... Uh -huh. Behold! The ancient tower falls silent. The rains which have fallen for hundreds of years cease at last, and night gives way to dawn. The sky, it... No way! <laughs> right? This guy definitely strikes me as the kind of guy who likes to fart into a wine glass and take a big fucking whiff. <laughs> yeah, that's this guy to a T for sure. No, no! 
What did you do to Lord Eldiel's tower? <laughs> Can't you tell just by looking? We disabled it, of course. <laughs> no more pesky barrier. No more annoying thunderstorms. Full access to all, now and forevermore. Yep, these two assholes. You. What are you doing here? You both have done excellent work. Bami, your experiments with the masks have proven most enlightening. And Goddess, your investigation of the primeval lands has yielded valuable data. <laughs> it's an honor to be of service. Hmm, <laughs> about time I get some recognition. I've confirmed that the object we seek is not here. As such, please commence preparations for the next phase of the plan immediately. Gotcha. What should we do with the girl? Leave her be for now. She may yet prove useful. I see. Understood. Wait! Experiments? So that means the masks here are... Oh. I'm sorry, little girl. I'm afraid I haven't the time to be playing with you right now. Take care of them. <laughs> really now? What do you think we're doing here? Wait. That might actually be Remno. No, that's not Remnos. That's... Get out of the way. You're too late. You should just give up now and save yourself a lot of effort. Dear Sid... Oh, it was Remnos. Interesting that they put on the Roman army outfit. But yeah, when I was looking at his hair, I'm like, that looks like Remnos. No, it can't be. Yep. Oh. Remnos? What are you? <laughs> it's lovely to see you again, Adol. You're wanted back in Komodo. And I'm afraid I will continue to be, as I have no intention of returning home. I have my duties now, as Commander Remnos of the Masked Division, and to my superior, Lord Gruda. What are you saying? Oh, I get it. You're still under that woman's control, aren't you? Nope. I'm afraid not. It is true that Bami had placed me under her power back in Komodo. But now I've chosen to become a member of the Masked Division of my own free will. Uh, did you come all this way looking for me to rescue me from myself, perhaps? If so, I'd suggest you just go back home now. Maybe Adol can talk some sense into you. I heard the truth about you, Remnos, from father and that woman alike. They told me you're actually really strong, but hid it from me. You were afraid I'd be hurt. So that's the kind of thoughtful, selfless person you are. <laughs> the truth? There seems to be a great misunderstanding here. I just didn't care about hunting or fighting enough to give it my all. Nothing more. No. This forest holds a secret beyond imagination. A secret I want to know. I want to know what happened here in ancient times. Lord Gruda modeled these after the Mask of the Sun that appears in ancient legends, you know. What Bami was doing in Komodo was testing out some of the prototypes. But my lord's true objective here is much greater and more noble than you could possibly imagine. Yeah, there's nothing fucking noble about anything these shitheads are doing. We know that. I must see it fulfilled and bear witness to the results of his glorious vision. It's a much more worthwhile pursuit than wasting my life away in a backwoods village like Komodo. Okay. I think I understand. But that's all the more reason I'm going to have to drag you back home kicking and screaming. What? I don't want to believe it, but maybe you are telling the truth. Maybe life in Komodo has been unfulfilling for you. It sucks, but I can't sit by and watch you hurt people like this. And I can't bear to see you rely on some mask to get your way. When the younger brother starts walking a dangerous path like this, it's his older sister's job to put him right again. So like it or not, you're coming home with me, Remnos. Oh, dear. This conversation isn't going anywhere. I'm surprised you could be so confident in the face of such overwhelming power. This is where we part ways. Keep them occupied while I take my leave. Yeah, they should be heading your way now. Just pass that on. 
What? I know, I know. You don't have to keep telling me. Yeah, yeah, all right then. Good luck. Doesn't surprise me that he would have magical communication abilities. <sighs> Nothing like a little bit of an infallible messenger here. Looks like I can't delay this any longer. Hell, Durin got going on. The residents are still in a state of confusion. Considering this town has known nothing but peace for hundreds of years, it's hardly surprising. Far too much has happened in too short a space of time. We need to consider what to do next at all. The Romans sure didn't hang around long. I think they really are heading farther into the forest. What do you think Gruta is searching for? The Mask of the Sun. I agree, that does seem the most likely possibility. Yeah, when Eldil started changing, he was demanding that Owl give it back to him. Do you remember the piece of paper that we found in your grave at all? It said received the mask from. Correct. Before losing his memories, Adol must have received the Mask of the Sun from Eldil. Then, when Eldil changed personalities during our conversation with him, he told Adol to return that which had been given. That is the most plausible course of events. Meanwhile, Gruda was using Goddess and Bami to study the Mask of the Sun and make copies of it. And now they've come to the Primerville lands to get the real one. I see. However, we still do not know exactly what the Mask of the Sun even is. Do you have any information you could share with us, Mayor? The Kingdom of Celsetta. Kingdom of Celsetta? In ancient times, a kingdom by that name existed in this region. Supposedly, Lord Eldil assisted in its rulings many hundreds of years ago. It is also said that the kingdom flourished thanks to the power granted by the Mask of the Sun. However, something happened that caused the once prosperous kingdom to be destroyed. Precious few traces remain now. Well, it was 800 years ago. We know that. What happened? I'm afraid I can't say. Supposedly, the people of Highland are descendants of the Kingdom of Salsetta. But no records exist which describe exactly how the kingdom fell. Lord Eldiel has never spoken of it either. I see. It seems our best option would be to meet him again and ask him to tell us all he knows. However... We're back! Where the hell is Lisa? Excellent timing. How did it go? Well, uh... <laughs> Lord Eldiel has vanished! We searched the area all around the tower, but there was no trace of him anywhere. Ordinarily, he would only leave his room to visit the town, and even that occur occurs with marked rarity. And unfortunately, the bad news doesn't stop there. I'm afraid we can't find Lisa anywhere either. <sighs> Could Gruda have abducted her? <clears throat> Lisa may seem dainty, but she's actually pretty quick-witted. I don't think she would allow herself to be captured so easily. Still, I'm worried about both her and Eldiel. We need to do something. Who is it now? We're busy, you know. Could it be Lisa? Probably not. We're not that lucky. Uh, fine. <laughs> is this the mayor's house? Speaking of fucking Commander Leo, I am the great Commander Leo of the Roman Imperial Salcedon Army. Damn that, Gruta. How could he leave a fine warrior like me behind? Hmm. This fucking jackass. Well, they've been treating us like we're nothing but trouble since the Aww. beginning. I wanted one of those masks too. No, you didn't, Panza. Silence! The soldiers of the glorious Sassadin army have no need for such suspicious masks! The one smart thing he fucking said the entire game. Seems like the Romans are a little out of sorts right now, too. Has Gruta been here yet? I can't find him anywhere. You went ahead already. Hmm. What? You went on ahead? It was not in the orders we received from the office of the Governor General. Our orders were to claim the mayor's home. <gasps> and use it as a base from which we would enact martial law upon the town. Really? Holy shit. Those orders are void. I'm guessing that's the Governor General. Yep. Governor General, what brings you to a pla- uh, Men, fall in! Hi, kitty kitty. Oh, good girl. And now she's sitting on my foot. It's a good thing I grabbed water, because otherwise I would never be able to move. Adol, don't just stand there. You're in the presence of the Governor General. At ease, Leo. Unbelievable. The Governor General herself coming all the way here? First and foremost, allow me to extend my heartfelt apologies for the actions of my fellow soldiers. I realize no apology could possibly be sufficient given the circumstances, but I do beg your forgiveness nonetheless. What's going on here? I've heard rumors of you, Griselda. Normally, 
one would not expect to find a woman of noble standing like yourself in a place such as this. You are well informed, I see. However, I have difficulty understanding your actions. First you shell our town, then you come to apologize? You are correct that Gruda is an officer sent by Rom and part of the Roman army. However, his orders were to investigate the primeval lands and report back to us with his findings. Nothing more. His actions were in no way sanctioned by Rom. What? A soldier not obeying orders? A disgraceful! Commander Leo, you will continue following the movements of Gruda and his men and report back to me. Pursue them as deep into the Great Forest as is necessary. Yes, ma'am. Now, Mayor Aaron, I realize this may startle the people of Highland, and for that I apologize, but I would like to station my soldiers here. What? Mm. We cannot have the existence of Highland becoming common knowledge outside the Great Forest. As such, I would like soldiers of my army to stand guard between here and the river to prevent any further intruders. I give you my word that they will cause no harm to the people of Highland under any circumstances. Griselda, or the Grizz as she likes to be called. <laughs> so that's the situation, is it? Grandfather. Very well. You have my blessing in this. Do as you wish. I am grateful for your understanding. As for you, Adol Kristen, you are free to continue your journey. Huh? I'm not going to accuse her of having some sort of trap. I don't recall ever canceling your outstanding task to complete a map of the Great Forest, after all. I feel that you are a vital piece of the puzzle that is currently unfolding in this region. And with even a single piece missing, the puzzle cannot be completed. So we can now report the map to her here. So that's about the gist of it. What should we do now, Adol? Search for Eldil. Yeah, getting your memories back is top priority, so going after Eldil makes sense. Whatever you decide to do, I'd suggest that you cross the sanctuary and journey deeper into the forest. What lies beyond the sanctuary? A place called the Ashen Forest. Within it sits a settlement where the descendants of those who crossed the distant oceans with Lord Eldil live. It is known as the Village of the Wise. Village of the Wise? Unlike the other people Lord Eldil brought here, it's said they've chosen to live in isolation. No one is certain why, however. But they may know something about the Mask of the Sun, as well as Lord Eldil's changes. Sounds like it'd be worth a visit then, for sure. And, uh, not to change the subject, but... Why is Kalilika standing there, all packed up and looking like she's ready to leave? <laughs> she's a member of the party now, Durin. What a silly question. I'm worried about Lord Eldil too, you know. And Lisa. At all, I would ask that you please take Kalilika with you on your journey. Whatever happens as a result of this current crisis, I feel it will have repercussions throughout the land. And traveling will give Kalilika a good opportunity to decide what paths she should walk from this time forward. Grandfather. Furthermore, if you are journeying to the village of the wise, it may be helpful to have someone with Highland from Highland with you. We'll take good care of you. We'll take good care of her, rather. It'll be a little lonely here without her, but I trust she'll be safe in your company. The matter is settled, then. <sighs> nice to have you with us. Yes. Thank you. Ah, uh, yes. At all. Please take this as well. Oh. This going to let me actually teleport more easily? It will allow you to warp to any of the monuments you've touched in the entirety of the forest, no matter where you are. Thank you. This would normally be given to apostles only, but I believe in the importance of your mission. It will serve you well. So we don't have to go find the nearest monolith whenever we want to warp? That sounds incredibly useful, thanks. Now, take care out there, all of you, and best of luck. That is so awesome. Golden Wing allows you to warp to monuments from the map of Sosetta. Oh, that is fucking sweet as hell. You can now accept quests in Highland. Okay, so let's, let's go and do that really fast. Kitty, kitty, who's my good kitty? Is this where the quests are? Nope, this is... Oh, well, there's a quest here, so let's go get it. Thank you for coming. Did you see my quest on the board? Oh, I'm sorry, I haven't seen it yet. Is there something we can help you with? Actually, I'd like you to feed a group of guardians. What do you mean exactly? Tower guardians. You know, they're fine if they remain inside the tower. But for some reason, possibly because the storm's abating, some of them have wandered into the sanctuary. They haven't gotten too far yet, but they've gone a bit haywire. Can't imagine they trek all the way to the town, but it's not a risk I'm willing to take. There's no hurry, so you can take care of this quest whenever you get the opportunity. Assuming you're willing to help, that is. 
course, leave it to us. Right, Adol? Yep. Perfect. Thank you very much. The Guardians in question look a lot like Enslapes, but there will be some visible differences. They're also likely to be much stronger than the Enslapes you encountered in the tower before. I confirmed five of them in total. They prefer to attack in groups. So if you could defeat them all, the problem would be solved. Thank you again, and do take care. Cool. Yep. Alright, so that's going to be lame, but we got it. Okay, so I went to the wrong place. Uh, this might be the right place. Nope. Although there is Mayor Aaron. Uh, where the fuck is... That's not the quest. There's like an inn or something, and that's where the quest board was. Oh, so lame. Where can I find this? Was it down there? It wasn't here. Maybe it was over here? I don't think it was. This was the shop. Yeah, that's the shop. Where the fuck is this... Of course, it doesn't label it very well. Let's see, pink. There we go. That's where it was. Perfect. All right, Adel Fred. So, did a Philmon's workshop. Okay, I want to purchase three silver ingots for a high price. Okay. Well, where are you? Come to the, come to my Ona Market. Speak to me at the cathedral. All right, we already got that one. Okay. So we've got these now. All right, perfect. Now it's actually showing us where they are. Oh, cool. Let's sell the three silver ingots. Because we definitely need money. And we have them. Have you come to sell me silver ingots? I appreciate your enthusiasm, but you don't seem to have any with you. Oh, we don't? Who's something new when you brought the goods? Wait, do I not have silver ingots? I seriously don't have silver ingots? I thought I had them. Alright, well, fine. When I get three silver ingots, I know where I'm coming. Uh, Alright, what's, what's your story? Ah, good to see you. Did you see my request on the board? We did. It's about your magic artifacts, right? Meaning you're going to tell them about it, aren't you? I am indeed. Oh, sorry, Adol. You probably have no idea what we're talking about. Now that the mayor has accepted you, I'm free to discuss this with you. This workshop here is also known as the Artifact Workshop. As the name implies, I handle special items called artifacts here. So we call complex, magically imbued objects, like my mace and the streetlights in town. Basically anything operated using mystical energy rather than oil, coal, or any other physical forms of power. Indeed, and all of the artifacts in this town were presented to us by Lord Eldeal. In general, only apostles and apprentice apostles are allowed to possess them for their own personal use, but it seems you already have a few in your possession as well. I imagine that they too must originate from the same source as the ones here. <coughs> Regardless, the only reason, or the reason I have summoned you here today is to offer my services. I can unleash the full potential of your artifacts. Unleash the full potential? Indeed. They contain essentially limitless potential. However, unless that potential has specifically been unleashed, most artifacts only use it as a small portion of it. And that's where my services come in. I could release the true potential of any artifacts you find. But to do so, I'll need power stones, gems containing magical power, few of which still remain in existence. I see. Do you really understand, Alal? Even if you didn't, I'm sure you will have to see it for yourself. Would you be able to show us? I'd love to, but while I have the facilities and technology here, I'm a bit short of materials. So can I ask you to bring me gems? Yep. What is it you need? Uh, dwarf bracelet first. For that, I need one emerald and one topaz. One emerald and one topaz, huh? Those aren't going to come cheap. If that's what you need, that's what you need. Let's go see if we can track down those gems. Don't I have... I thought I had those. Oh, I do. Here you go. We brought the gems you requested. And our emerald and a topaz. Thank you. Guess I'll get started then. All right, let's see what this does to the dwarf bracelet. Well, it looks like the process was successful. Okay, now we got a dwarf bracelet plus. What's different? Will it allow us to become even smaller or something? 
Those don't work that way. Instead, you can now maintain your physical strength when using the artifact. That is cool. So even when you're miniaturized, you can still fight as you would normally. I see. Useful, if not a little boring. Boring? Boring or not, that's the general gist of what I can do for you here. Oh, and Tamale? Yes, Gramps? Adol and his friends are going to be regular customers from here on. So see to them if they need anything. All right. We'll do for free to come back here if you need our services again. When you want to use your uh, one of your artifacts unleashed, uh, or when you want one of your artifacts unleashed, just talk to him. We did it! Okay, well, that's pretty cool. I guess we'll find out, won't we? Uh, additional damage underwater. Dashing knocks enemies back. Amethyst. I don't have amethyst. All right. Well, I could at least do that if I if I were so inclined. Yeah, I've got it. Fuck it. Let's just do this. And I'm looking for an emerald for the Gale Shoes, but more importantly is Amethyst. Once I find an Amethyst, that will be pretty awesome. I don't think I can buy that here. Yeah, I can't get that. That's kind of annoying, but oh well. Okay, we're done here. Let's, uh... Take a look. Are there any memories that I can... You know what? Let's try... Hi, honey. What are you doing, Cleo? Hi, Cleo. I love you too, Cleo. What are you doing? Don't bite my leg. Ow. <laughs> I love you, cat. Don't bite my leg. Uh, all right. So cool. Now I could just warp around. This is awesome. Okay. So that is pretty cool. Okay. There's a treasure chest that I still need to get in the Sacred Beast's lair. Interesting. So we could go back there and see what we missed. It's probably that one. Oh, right, because we need to go back in there. Right, but we didn't have Ozma with us, so we couldn't actually do it. Um, I'm more interested in getting that memory if we can. Why don't we... Oh, I thought I could warp. Can I not warp? I thought I could warp. Didn't it let me... Isn't this going to let me warp? Oh. Oh. Right, but there we go. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Sweet. Man, that is going to be so much more convenient. Of course, I need to remember which way to go. Looks like the memory is that way, though. So let's go, let's go see if we can find it. Wow, we uh, do a lot more damage now. Fuck you. <laughs> Man, we curb stomp these bitches now. Well, that's badass. Okay. Memory. Maybe it's that way? It's the goofiest thing. Let's see. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's like up there. So I need to get up there. So I just don't see how I get up there. Super annoying. Let's head back this way. It's been a while since I've been at this part of the game. So maybe there's a spot where she can hit with the mace. Maybe Ozma with his uh, spear. Uh, right, we go under this way. And then up. No, this is just a dead end. This doesn't lead anywhere, right? Let's head back this way. Oh, you got poisoned. That's super annoying. Whatever. Hey! 
damn. I'm already around this area, so... That's beyond annoying that you can't get to that memory. I really don't understand what I'm doing wrong to get to that memory. Maybe it's this way somewhere? Celery Village and we try to go over this way to get to it? So it's over this way. So yeah, let's... Let's try that. Let's try warping this way. Oops. I gotta get used to controlling that. Okay, so we just go that way. Although it is convenient to be able to run. Although, boy, I can't control it for shit. But it does make re-exploring old areas a lot easier. Oh boy, let's get away from that thing. Alright. Let's see. Oh! Yeah, I just never went in a lot of these areas. Let's go find out why. Yeah, I just... Oh, Jesus. Hey, asshole. Look at that. <laughs> Boom. Well, that'll teach me to talk smack. Gotcha. That was pretty nice. Oh, you fucking paralyzed me, you son of a bitch. Whatever. I'll control her while we're, uh, while Adol's paralyzed. I'll just wait for the paralysis to wear off. being paralyzed now, do you, bitch? Okay. Oh, there's a treasure chest up there. Let's go get whatever treasure chest that is. And then we'll go back to that other village and record our map progress. Oh, that's pretty cool. Leave it to me. Alright. Meantime, let's also... Hmm, what do I want? Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> I love setting everything on fire. It's fucking awesome. Alright. And is this the memory I was looking for? Where is it? There it is. Oh, this dude. But enough of that. I found this a few days ago. It's... And this is... Well, it's not even often I find someone who understands me quite like you do. It's been a long time since I've been able to talk at great length about the Great Forest to anyone, but I'm afraid I can't describe all my exploits in just one day. So I don't expect to get any sleep tonight. 
No worries, I'm up for it. <laughs> and that's what I wanted to hear. I knew you were good for it. Well then, where were we? Hey yo. Hello, Zara. Did you need something? You know what I need. Time for tickles. I'm going to tickle you both senseless. <laughs> I see. But we're both in the middle of an important conversation right now. So spectacular. Oh, oh, oh. oh the puns. <laughs> no, no. Zara successfully put Gazak to sleep. Haha, <laughs> victory. Now it's your turn. Oh, shit. <laughs> Just kidding. It's okay. Everyone, you can move. Come in now. These people are fucking crazy. <laughs> Looks like Gazak is fast asleep. Good, good. I feel a little sorry for him, but we didn't have much other choice. Yeah, as soon as he starts talking about his adventures in the forest, he's gone. Yeah, and we can't have him keep an adult all to himself. I did try to oppose such extreme measures, I assure you. <laughs> you could have just tried harder to stop us. You're just as guilty as we are. <sighs> uh, who cares? It's party time. Though we should probably do something about Gazak here. Come on, Siryu. We're carrying him in the bed. Grab his legs. Why me? Shut up and do as you're told. Celray was filled with excitement at Adol's arrival, and that excitement went on through the night. All right, not a plot important uh, memory, but still glad I picked it up. Oh, and HP increased by 10. That was pretty good. Okay. So now, let's, oops. Map time. Okay, so now that we've got that, I don't need to worry about that anymore. Man, it is so awesome. I can just warp around here. I almost want to go back and try to find that treasure chest that was under the water, but... I'm somewhat curious about some of this shit now. Can we now go... Oh, right. Let's see if we can get past that now. I'm still curious to see if we can get by this area. Yeah, yeah. I think I have to go this way, right? Uh, shit. I don't remember. How do I... Yeah, we go down. Well, we have a couple of options, but let's go down first. Ah, man. That is really hard to control. We still not. Here I go. We still not able to get through this. Oh come on! We still can't get through this. Damn it. Well, fair enough. But at least I didn't waste a lot of time figuring that out. Okay. Let's go back. Go back to Highland. Let's cash in our map progress. Alright, so these guys are now here. It's pretty neat. Um, okay, so... Alright, I've already forgotten where the hell this guy's house is. It's probably up there. Woof! Good dog! Griselda's gotta be in here somewhere. Yeah, what the fuck. Let's just talk to this guy. Please continue to look after Selic, um... Uh, at all. As for Lord Eldeal's disappearance, would appreciate if you'd keep that a secret from the townsfolk. For now, I've informed everyone that Lord Eldeal has taken ill and will be resting until... Uh, your turn, anyway. Uh, if I were to reveal the entire truth right now, it would create mass confusion and panic. Take care. I will be praying to you, praying for your safety. And I don't see Gris um, Griselda in here. Unless Griselda went back to, um, Kaznan. But she's gotta be in here, right? She's gotta be here. 
Jesus. Never imagined a modern looking town like this in the farthest reach of the Great Forest. Honestly, even standing here, I have trouble believing it's real. Can't blame me for having trouble believing it's real. Okay, where the fuck is Griselda? Do I have to go back? Do I have to go back to Kasdan? How did she get back there so fast? I'm not crazy, right? She was using this as a base. Where the fuck is Griselda? I want to report my map progress. We've done pretty good. Well, 50, over 50%. Maybe it's not that big a deal, but still, like, it'd be nice if she was here. Yeah, fuck it. It's taking too long to find her. I'll look around town and see if she's out here, but I don't see her. So, since I don't see her in plain sight, I'm not going to worry about this. Fuck it. Ah, fuck it. I mean, unless she's in the chapel. I can't imagine she's in the chapel, but let's look anyway, because I didn't actually go in here. Yeah. Oh, no, I did go in here, because I got the quest thing. All right, fuck it. I'm not going to worry about it. I mean, I could... You know what? I could do that real quick. I cannot imagine she's in Kaznan. But... I assume that when I go up here, I am not going to see her. If she somehow made it back here, it's a fucking miracle. How the fuck is she here? How the fuck is she here? How? How is she here? Ah, uh, you've come to report your progress on the map. Let's hear it then. Hi, it appears you have made excellent progress. I wasn't expecting you to be able to demonstrate some top quality results in such a short period of time. I eagerly anticipate hearing of your continued exploits. Pretty motivating to hear that. Thank you. <laughs> Ask for a more tangible reward. Let's just agree with Durin. I'm glad the opinion of this officer means so much to you. I also have another reward for you in addition to your payment. Please accept it. Ah, all right. I have no idea what this Aeolus urn is, but I'm glad we picked up. Art attracts items toward the party when equipped. Oh, okay, that's convenient. After being unleashed, you can obtain gold while simply walking around. Okay. I guess that's nice, but... Like, so what? <laughs> Whatever. And here's your payment. Oh, 10,000 gold is nice. I bid you farewell for now, but I will eagerly be, be eagerly awaiting your next report. Okay. okay. So let's go back to the map. Tower of Providence, right? I mean, I could go here, but I don't think I'm going to be able to make my way any further in. So let's go here, and let's just see. Yeah, that is weird without it being totally stormy. Um, you know, let's also fight those fuckers. Oh, we've got... We've got music for this area now. Yep, here they are. Bastards. Let's do it. It's quest time. Party. This works. actually better. Yes. 
<laughs> Don't know why I didn't do that the first time. Ow. It's two. Where are the rest of them? Sucks that you really have a hard time looking around. But they're obviously here. There you are. Oh, that sucks. And there's that. Cool. We got the group exterminated. We'll just run back to town, cash in that quest. That was easy. Oh, right. We have to... You know what, fuck it. Map time. I forgot. We'll just warp to that one. Ooh, give me money. managed to defeat the guardians thank you so much it's not a lot but please accept this for your efforts picked up 5,000 gold that's it and it wouldn't have been possible if not for my elegant combat skills that's true I'm sure you've become a lot stronger recently and in such a short amount of time too really absolutely of course you can't let that get to your head you've got plenty more growing to do I'm sure you could become even stronger by following the example of Adol and his friends thank you I yeah, will well done. just explore a little bit. I don't think I'm going to be up for too much longer. I think I'm going to be wrapping things up pretty soon, but I am at least a little curious. Of what's going on up here? I'm sure eventually when we send this whole thing we'll be able to come down the other side and we won't have to do this gigantic circle the hell is that sound outside people blowing off fireworks some of my neighbors are a little strange Okay, that's not going to be allowed anymore. <laughs> not with that kind of range. Nope. No, sir, I don't like it. I remember this. I have heard this theme now. Ah, and now we're back here. We were over there the first time. Kind of disappointed that we can't seem to... You really can't... You should be able to target that, Karna. She targets these things. That is so weird. Leave it to me. Here I go. You should be able to do that. Party. Leave it to me. To you, maybe? 
well. All right, fuck it. You know what? We'll always my stay with us for a while. But it's very bizarre that I can't. Um. Oh, there it is. Okay, that's what I was looking for. There it is. And now we can just access this very easily from, uh, yep, called it. Perfect. Much easier. Okay. Do, 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 do. I hear running water somewhere. <laughs> Giant hammer? Nice. Okay, before I go explore that, let's find out what's over here. I was gonna leave you alone, buddy, but fine. It all just connects. Cool. Oh, jeez, man. We wrecked though. We wrecked all that shit. Uh, we got all that. Okay. Let's keep going. These two make a good team. I thought I was going to dodge that. I was wrong. <laughs> something's, something's interesting has got to be over here somewhere. What's in this? Oh, well, we'll take 5,000 gold. All right, we're back into a good money territory here. So there's this. And it looks like we've been in this region before. But there's another... Oh, no, that's the only way to go. All right, cool. Bastard. Good job, Karna. Killed it before I could even get to it. <laughs> the fact that she's got range is awesome. Ozma's got some really good defensive buffs, but man, I would take Karna's range any day. Three, a couple of ways we go here. I don't know which way is better, but yeah, I don't know which way is the better way at the moment. <laughs> oh, shit, you little bastard. Hit me? Fine. You can die. Uh, I think this is the right way to Yeah, we got webbed. It happens. I think this is the way I was supposed to go. Oh, maybe not. Do, 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 do. Uh, yeah, let's swap out. My turn. <laughs> open this. Boom. Blue tree earring. Ooh. 
Yeah, it's fine. Neat, but not crazy. Oh, we got a memory over here. It didn't show me the uh, memory on the map. Well, glad I found it. I see, so that's what happened when you were in Promalok. Well then, I guess the next thing I'd like to ask is... Hold on a minute, Kalilika. You've asked enough questions. At least let the rest of us have a chance to sneak one or two in. Yeah, he's not all yours. I suppose you're right. Okay, my turn. My question is all about the pickards you've run into in your travels. Yes, I think you could save stupid questions like that until the end of time. <laughs> the end of time? Most, more importantly, at all, do you have a girlfriend? <laughs> oh, man. Being pretty cute and a strong warrior, I'm sure you must have all the ladies swooning all over you. You haven't got a childhood friend back home you've sworn to spend your life with or something, have you? Or do you have passionate encounters with different girls everywhere you go? Oh my goodness. Oh, holy awkward Batman. I don't know whether to take that reaction to mean you've, you're have you pure hearted or if I hit the nail right on the head. Come to think of it, you seem to be getting on really well with Lisa. You're not after her, are you? <laughs> if you are, don't think you'll be getting off with just a slap on the wrist. Oh my goodness gracious people. I'm sure Adel would never approach such a serious matter half-heartedly. But if you were ever to make Lisa cry, I'd be forced to cut all that lovely red hair off in your sleep. You've been warned. <laughs> Man, I'm, got, I'm glad Kalilika's on our side. Adel, I think I speak for all men when I completely sympathize with your plight. Yeah. Anyway, going back to the Pickards. Okay, everyone, how about this? If you all keep showering poor Adol with questions, it's probably going to make him very uncomfortable. So from now on, everyone will be able to ask him one question and one question only. What? I suppose that does make sense though. At this rate, we'd be here for hours otherwise. Finally, so starting with me. <laughs> him and his pickers. Hold on, I'll be deciding the order. <laughs> and that order is me, me first. But you've been asking him questions this whole time. You've had more than enough. Yeah, this isn't fair at all. That's our Kalilika. No one's going to be able to take control from her now. <laughs> oh, these townsfolk are funny. Right, base defense increased. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Alright, let's head back up. Man, I'm really liking these dash shoes, man. It certainly helps when trying to find our way around. Yeah, let's just zoom. Let's just zoom in here and see if this fucks up. There's nothing over here? There's nothing over here? Yeah, it's fine. What's down here? It's not a mimic. That's all that matters to me right now. <laughs> I was so tired of encountering mimics in that tower. Uh, oh, well, we'll take that. Oh, and there's a way out. I mean, some dash boots to run from responsibilities. <laughs> Seriously, bro. We got some redstone. We got another of these. Let's save. This is probably where I'm going to call it tonight, but let's just investigate a little. The presence of beasts can no longer be felt in the surrounding area. The air is still and tranquil. Oh, it's going to be one of these things. Yep. Nope. Fuck this noise. I'm out. I'm glad I saved it. Yep. Oh no, this is gonna be a campsite, so we're just gonna get another memory. But yeah, no, this is still gonna be a good this is still a good place to, to call it here. Uh let's go title screen. Yep, let's exit. Boom. Alright, let's see who we might want to raid out to. There's gotta be somebody on. Uh let's find out. Let's let's see what's going on. In the meantime, let's flip to my ending stream. I finally remembered what original song I had for that. So uh so we're finally good from um uh, for last alert. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, uh, you know what? Neon Arcade is, uh, 
looks like he's doing retro. Let's uh, let's read out let's raid out to Neon. Uh, actually, no, you know what? Aussie's still on. Let's uh, let's raid out to Aussie. We haven't raided out to Aussie in a while. Let's do that. Let's see what she's up to. Looks like she's playing some Sea of Thieves. We'll go we'll go crash her party. See what's going on. Assuming I can find oh there we go. Perfect. Excellent. Alright, so quick channel update while we're while I'm cashing up, while I'm cr uh starting this thing holding up. Uh I will probably be on Thursday. We might play a little more East Memories of Salsetta, or I might just play some Fallout. I guess I'll just kind of see how I'm feeling on Thursday. But uh, I'm 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 feeling some game some more gaming on on uh, on Thursday, so that'll be the plan. Uh, in the meantime, I hope everybody has an amazing rest of your week. And yes, uh, I think that's basically all I've got. So thank you for as always uh, having fun with me while I play some more East and uh, playing this for the first time. It's been super fun. I'm really glad I'm playing it. And until next time. I will see you all approximately later. Remember, be excellent to each other. I'll see you later. Ciao.